Alright, what is up everybody? It is time for the monthly KH1 rando. This one's coming a little early because all of next month is basically just gonna be Persona 3 Reload. Get excited for that. I'm gonna be playing that on like the hardest difficulty or whatever, most likely. Speaking of hard difficulty, Final Mix Proud. Let's get started. What oh yeah, let me start the um Deafiend with the 29 months. Thank you very much. Let me start the Classic Bet. Uh, raft or emblem. Might as well start this now as early as possible. I'll make the submission period like 30 minutes? 20 is fine. Why is it off to the side? I know why it's off to this. 1440p, 1080p. Alright, place your bet on if we will get emblem route or raft route first. Whichever we want, whichever pieces I put together first is how this will work. Any videos you wish you could unupload? You say that like that's not something I could do. I, I can do that at any time. I can just unlist something. I do have some videos where I wish I did some things differently though, but that's just natural for when, you know, a bunch of time passes and you think they could have done something better. But that just always happens. This is how improving works. Anyways, let's get started. Like, the Kingdom Hearts experiences, I have, like, when I look back on them, I'll see things where I'm like, oh, I should have done that differently, or oh, I should have had a better idea, or oh, I should have played Keishi better. A video you, well, you wish nobody saw? No. I don't ever post cringe. Maybe some videos that came out that didn't get many views, but that just kind of... It's kind of out of my hands. I've had, I've had games that I've streamed that are more like that. Like, uh, Soul Hackers 2. Spending as much fucking time on that game as I did when that shit came out. That's definitely something that I wish fell into that category of, you know, didn't fuck with as much as I did. But, you know. They can't all be hits. Especially with Modern Atlas. Tips for trying on Cage 1 Rando, try to seed and found it way too hard. What do you mean hard? Twenty-four strength wooden sword is already equipped, uh, but it has minus two MP. Okay, well, one of these days. It's not even like in my fucking. Okay, so here's why I have two keyboards. If I switch to the Oathkeeper, I won't have the wooden sword because of the way that you start with a dream weapon that isn't actually in your inventory, and it's a twenty-four strength wooden fucking sword. So yeah, we're just gonna be using that for the rest of the day. One MP. I already have the fucking YouTube thumbnail title Wooden Sword Ultimate Wooden Sword stream. Let's guard. Daring today, aren't we? Yeah, hey, we've already exhausted Ultimate Kingdom Key, the return of the 19 strength Oathkeeper. And what? Guess we had a true juicer. The real question is, Raft or Emblem? What are we getting? Make sure to place your bet. God, I've been playing this game at 30 FPS for like three months trying to make my stupid fucking video about KH1. So playing this feels so crazy right now. I'm 
VOD of Proving Ground stream gonna go to the archive? I actually need to re-upload it. Uh, I had a VOD of the first, like... Yo. Oh, yo. For the 29 months, thank you. Uh, I had a... Because I'm uploading the Proving Ground VODs in, like, collections... I need to re-upload part one because it randomly got a song detected that got it blacklisted from YouTube. Even though it wasn't like that for like the first month of it being a thing. So I need to re-upload that with like some stuff muted. But I have um, part two almost ready to go. I just need to stream that game one more time to have enough streams to make a part two. So soon. We'll do it. Eternal. 16 months, thank you. I got stop spell. That's actually really good because I'm not gonna have like any magic for this seed, so having stop is nice. Because it's useful with low MP. Though I don't have enough to fucking cast it once, so that's whatever, but you know. Take what I can get. I need to beat up Antisaur. Yeah, this Persona 3 Reload playthrough is gonna get me into a good rhythm for streaming. I've been kind of all over the place recently because I've been trying to spend more time off on working on videos and stuff. You don't. But I think with Persona 3 Reload, I'm gonna try doing some form of, not like a strict schedule, but like... I'll most likely stream the same three to four days of the week and then be off the same, like, three to four days of the week. There are eight days in a week, you know? <laughs> So much damage I'm dealing already, Jesus. I'm level 1. Now I'm level 4. Bruh. He's turning with the two gifted subs, thank you. Oh yeah, Rob Peter Pan. And Mermaid. Yeah, that's right. Mermaid. I'm a little sleepy. I'm fixing my sleep schedule. Been up for a while today. I was falling asleep in my chair when I was setting up stream. I was like, ooh. I'm good now. I got a second wind. Watch me get like Titan Chains off of like Peter Pan. Inferno Band, that's. Just defense. That's fine though. I could use some defense. Fire defense. Sure, box. I'm gonna know what hit him. Speaking of which, I need to turn on the rewards. I forgot. These are the streams where they're supposed to be on. Stimulus package. Here we go. I have so fucking many. I'm just glad I found an easy way to turn them all on just by clicking. Kingdom Hearts 2 has screwed us again. Cocaina. No. Flower. Somebody just asked me about Beautiful. why right. I hate the military. Are these cubes? Holy shit. Wow, they have it. Mother fucking moot ports. Oh, I play video games? Okay, there we go. Warming up. Why do I have so many save files? What am I fucking doing? Make the save files? Am I use that first save file for something? Based. Yeah, now I just leave. He <laughs> rewards higher than 50k? It might be time for another inflation, actually. TBH. Kane's bread killing myself postponed. What's up, ship? Somebody get this up to ship. I'm the potent with the ten months. Thank you. When a parent tells you no, well, you emblem believer. That, but Drake just does whatever you. That guard today. <laughs> uh. 
Wait, I don't need to do this. Yeah. I do need to do this, actually. Ariel's not in my party until I do this stupid shit. Go on, flounder. There you go. Asshole. Flounder. 700k. I need my rewards. I'm trying to think of stuff that would warrant being like 50k. Maybe I can make the coin flip 100k so that people can actually just use it randomly. Oh. Flaming Hot Mac and Cheese Reward. Oh yeah, I was thinking about that. I was thinking about making a, uh, a new Corbin reward and that would be it. It's a Corbin. Yo, Chunny with the 34 months in. Eternal with the gift of something. Nightbot. Nice. the ship. MVP, thank you. Yeah, Inferno bands are gonna be the super common uh, thing that party members have because it's like a super generic accessory. So just give everyone shit. Yeah, they're just letting Kojima do whatever he wants. Maybe one day I'll tap in. Yes. I'm just flabbergasted at <clears throat> still no Bloodborne. I'm not flabbergasted at no KH4. I'm not expecting that quite yet. But. No Bloodborne's crazy. I need to try, um. <clears throat> like, KH2 boss enemy rando again. I saw a setting last time I looked at the. A C generator that makes it so that you can have like an actually random assortment of enemies. So instead of it just being like a one to one replacement, you can get like a weird shit. I might try that. Like instead of a fight where every shadow is just one enemy, it's just like every shadow is a random enemy, you know? I don't think I've ever tried that particular type of randomizer. Hey, report. Giant crevasse, drinking water, Ogi man, or fish. This is a two for one report here for uh, raft heads. Stocks are going up. Ogi man, or fish. Giant crevasse, wait a minute. That's fucking end of the world. Okay, that's gonna need to have, um. That is gonna need to be. Nav gummy. That's end of the world, right? Giant crevasse? Or is that... That's not Hall Bastion, is it? That's everything, right? Yeah, that's everything. Shop will pull through. Through. That can always happen, too. Any interest in Fire Emblem challenge runs? I don't even have any interest in Fire Emblem. Interesting question. <laughs> That's enough cage. Can you play Sea of Thieves now? Yeah, sure. Immediate all of four. It is an emblem piece. Cheap, too. Hold off on that until it's the last one that I need. I love, cage I love walking in Cage 1 Rando. Yeah, I feel like everything about my personality, in terms of like 
much movement video games, you'd think that um, I'd hate not having dodge roll for all of an entire KH1 rando, but I really don't hate it. I just look over at chat and, and like vibe in whatever world I'm in. I haven't played Oz's P, but it looks like a very good Souls like, like one of the best Souls likes in terms of game feel. Like most Souls likes end up looking more like Dark Souls 2 than anything. When Dark Souls 2 is like an official Souls like made by the FromSoft company and not like an actual Souls game somehow. That's the thing that was always weird about it. And most Souls games are closer to that kind of look and feel, but Liza P actually looks like it harps off of the like the real FromSoft engine more than any other game, which is neat. Though I can't really say that because I've never actually had my hands on the game, but looking at it, it looks pretty convincing. Any of these has Jack Sparrow in it? They have like a crossover. That happened, though. Oops. Don't come. Don't come. They used to be fireballs at the very end. There you go. Bitch. 24 strength! Oh, don't forget to talk to Aerith. Don't ever forget. <laughs> Is a wooden sword cracked? Come it's got 24 on, strength and minus 2 MP, so yeah. This is literally the highest amount of strength that a randomized keyblade can have. And also the lowest amount of MP. But if I switch to Oathkeeper, I'll lose the Wooden Sword until I find it again. It's like that weird... Uh, when you start, ever since they made it, so that you don't have to warp out of... Um, like, you don't have to use this to get out of the first room in Rando. You start with two weapons instead of one, but one is just a dream weapon that's not actually in your inventory, but it's equipped. So when something is equipped, but it's not in your inventory, you can have it and use it, but if you switch it, it's gone. So at the start of KH1 Rando Seeds, you get a choice, which is kind of interesting. It's like you have to commit to it or else like you'll have to find it again later in the seed. So like I'm lo I'm literally locked into using this weapon for the rest of the seed, essentially. And if I switch it, then I'll lose it until I find it again and I don't want to lose it because it's 24 fucking strength. I hate that I need Leon's fucking permission to open this chest, but not that chest. That's goofy. How long do you reckon it's gonna take me to beat P3R on stream? Like, I, I know what to expect with a fucking modern Persona game in terms of the length. My first playthrough of that game, when I was like 18, was like 100 hours or so. 27 hours? Oh, yeah. Me beat Cage without jumping, does this in the thumbnail. If I made a video like that, the thumbnail would be Sora holding this with an outline and an arrow. And like text on screen that says kinda. 50 to 60 hours. That feels low. I want to play on Lunatic. 60 hours. I thought the low roll for Persona 3 was 80. Who do you play on Tekken 8? I play Oscar. Oscar. It's funny to call her Oscar. 30 second video that says no. It's like, oh my god, I had, I, I might still, if, I, if this happens again, I'm gonna do it. But, Every four years, some random asshole makes a video called K-1 
can you beat KH1 on level 1? Can you beat KH2 on level 2? How do you beat KH2 on level on level 1? To, like, to an audience of people that aren't familiar with Kingdom Hearts and how this fucking shit is programmed to work. And it'll get like 400k views and I get mad every time because it's like, bro. It's, it's not that deep. Every fucking time I want to make a video, like, that has the same exact title, it's 30 seconds of me saying, you can. Can you beat Nocturne without fighting encounters on Merciful? I made this obscure JRPG even harder. There actually is a DDS video called that. They changed the title from Can I Beat Digital Devil Saga Without Demons? Because that's what the YouTuber does. They changed it to I made this obscure JRPG even harder. I have, I, I know it's unreasonable and kind of stupid, and all things considered, to dislike the, the the typical YouTuber conventions of like thumbnail and vague, vague title and thumbnail, you know, quote unquote artistry. But I really have a distaste for that kind of thing. <laughs> I can't help it. Oh, here we go, Mega Arts, as if I need to be in strong. 33 strength. When will you submit to the Discord message thumbnail tech? Oh, that one's another silly one. Riku and Twilight with seven months, thank you. Are you gonna be reading and dialing P3R or are you skipping all the non-voice stuff? I'll all the th all the stuff that's non-voiced, I'm not gonna read out loud. If that's what you're asking. Oh, Earth. Hello, Earth. What do you have for me today? Very harp. Thank you, Shinman Gummy Tensei Nocturne. 14 strength. Pfft. Nope. Thank you, Aerithon. Yeah, most of that shit's gonna be voiced anyway, so it won't be too big of an issue. Akihiko sounds like he's 40 years old and I don't like it. Random X2 with another 100 bits, thank you. Did you open the safe? I did not. I'll get that after I kill this boss. I wonder what ratio of dungeon crawling in combat to um, social sim that game is. Yeah, I would imagine it's going to be about the same ratio is like original Persona 3, but I don't really remember what that was either. Did you know that you can hang from this rafter? Also, yeah, answer is semi-confirmed to be DLC, like I said. Which is cool, because the answer is the best part of Persona 3. They better not try to improve the answer by giving it social sim stuff that can't fit into the, the answer. You hear about the Trickmaster oven? Yeah, I saw that, and I also saw somebody saying that you can do it with two blizzards. It might just be random. Where did you hear that? There's a leaker on Twitter whose name I don't know, but they're right about everything and they constantly have something to say. And they said, answer DLC, it's real. Midori? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't know why I said it like that. Yeah, okay, yeah. What do they have to say about Marvel vs. Capcom 4? MP gift for Goofy already! Oh, shit. Atlas plant. They're like a Sega op. I don't understand it. Oh yeah, Digital Devil Saga OST on Spotify soon, by the way. So you
P3 continues the tradition of never being a definitive version. Okay, come on. Let's be, let's be real. P3R is going to be a, a better version than the other two bum fucking versions. Emblem piece. Like, the, pur the Puritan point of view is that Fez will probably be the best because, you know, it's the original version with extra stuff added to it. Of course. Cure, that's pretty good with the Lone as well. Donald told Goofy to give me something for him. Fucking Steph. I can't see P3R being a non like, friends, like defender version. In person with a 25 months, thank you. Yeah, shit's coming out soon, but I'm gonna be busy on Friday and Saturday, so I'll let you guys have a head start. And then you can watch my stream. When you're like 25 hours ahead of me, because that's all you're gonna be doing on Friday and Saturday is playing nothing but that game. Match really. I right, get this uh, thing, my Bob. Postcard. Wait, that was actually a postcard. That's not always a postcard, is it? No, it, it is. It's not a real chest. It's just a postcard. What other postcards can I get? I'm gonna get the postcards that are usually a pain in the ass to get without movement. I'm just gonna. No, I can't get the. I can't go up the ladder now, can I? Yeah, some of the music might be whack, like the new versions of the music. But, you know, Game Banana will come in clutch. That's uh, whatever. Here's what they're gonna do about Femsi. They're gonna re-release the game as like a definitive full version, which will have the answer like attached to it by default. But it'll have Femsi, because Femsi will potentially... Oh yeah, boxes in the way. Uh, FEMC will probably actually justify a full re-release of sorts. Like a year down the line, they'll have... Like, the answer will have already been out. But they'll just say, fucking, like, here's a... Here's another $70 version of the game that has all the DLC plus FEMC. That's what they'll do, I think. That way that they have an excuse to re-release the full game at full price. Plus, with a feature that people want, which game won't have. Plus, it'll have all the DLC just on one disc to justify it. That's what I think will happen. The answer is a whole new game. Well, that's like... It makes perfect sense for them to make it a DLC, because it was it was part of, you know, a re-release of the original game. Here, I need to get a thumbnail. Could we get up here? The original game answer was just like a thing you could access on the menu, so it makes sense for it to be a DLC. Goofy gritty. Hey, I'll see if I can make him do that. How do you do that thing where you make him go crazy? I'm in a ledge grabbing mood today. Yeah, I could see them doing a re-release of the game that has all the DLC just on the disc as like a definitive. And then it also has FMC included because that would actually take a genuine amount of work to add because like all the cutscenes would have to be redrawn or whatever. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll just stand like this. I have to go do something real quick. I'll be right back. Give me like five minutes.
Okay, I'm back. Can't wait till I have two fucking MP so I can actually use stop. Cure is gonna heal like five HP. It's gonna be funny. Uh, do I need to do anything? Oh yeah, I need to. Do, I don't need to do it right now, but I'll just do it the water way. But next time I come to this world, it'll actually be open. WB. I've had to get used to going back and forth between international and JP controls for KH1. Because whenever I boot up um, KH1J to get footage for it, I've had to press circle for attack and extra jump. But somehow I've gotten used to going back and forth between the two. Defense up. Don't mind if I do, what's my defense right now? 10? Wow. I don't prefer, um... JP controls, I like NA controls. So I've been playing Final Fantasy 7 on my PlayStation 1, and the default X for, uh, confirm actually doesn't seem to bother me. So I've just been playing FF7, uh, pressing circle for confirm and X for back and all that. Like, I didn't even think about it, I was just kind of like, oh, okay. Like, I tried changing it, because the game actually lets you change it, unlike Final Fantasy 16. Um, FF7 is actual full control remapping, but I was like, I've, it already, like, I was already trying to press circle for confirm. Because I think it's because I had the muscle memory using the PS2 controller. Because I've been playing it on a PS2 controller. Uh, you know, DualShock. I, I was playing KH1J on, on that same controller. So going from KH1J on that controller to FF7, still on that controller, I was just like, yeah, I'll just press circle, it's fine. So I didn't even want to switch my controls and keep them that way. I just switched them back, I was like, okay. How far are you in there? You're like seven hours, a little bit after Midgar. I had to restart my playthrough. Because the I had a shitty memory card uh, eat my save. So I had to speed run the first, like, five hours of the game again. To get back to where I was, and I also had to wait for a new memory card, so it slowed me down a little bit. But back on track. Yo, what's up, Brandis? Yeah, I was looking through my phone, and I found more uh, kettle footage. Chat, is it weird to use a tea kettle to boil eggs? Yes. Why though? It's, it's, it's the same as boiling water. No. What is? How is it different than an electric stove? I don't make hard boiled eggs all the time. Sam's fault. But the times that I did want to make hard boiled eggs, I was like, oh, I'll just make a kettle instead of starting a fire on my fucking oven top and waiting. 10 times longer than I normally would because that shit's not fucking efficient at all. Where should I go? I have 35 strength, so I'm actually gonna go to... You know what? Let's go here first. I've never done this before. There's a fish here or whatever. I'm gonna go straight to Halloween Town. Uncharacteristic. We're doing a new style today. Get that EXP early. Mm. 
I'm not gonna be able to get those chests up there, but who gives a fuck? I'm just gonna beat the world as fast as possible, get a million zillion EXP. What trinity did I get? Yo. That one kinda sucks, but I could go to... Uh... You know. Probably turn in dolphins as well. I could go back to Neverland and get a spell. Like, right now. But most spells I would get from there are gonna be ass, because I have literally one MP. But, I'm curious. Chigiomi. <laughs> I could do prelims easily, but you can always do prelims easily. Rando, you always get a keyboard that's above eight fucking strength. Olympus keyhole is a spell check, but you actually need to do it's hard coded in Rando to require you to actually do the cups needed to actually get that check. So I can't just immediately push the thing and tap the button. You used to be able to do that and it would crash the game. So that's why it's like that. But you can't cheese that one. It makes the Yellow Trinity even worse. But the fact that Yellow Trinity is a free spell makes it a little better. The other thing Yellow Trinity can do is it pushes over an urn and Agrabah that makes it so that you don't need high jump to get secret chests. And then I don't remember what else it's for. What else can you do with Yellow Trinity? What, other, what are the other two fucking things? Four yellow trinities in this game because there's only four at least common trinities. Merlin House? Oh, yeah, that chest. See, it's funny, you, all, you only need like high jump for that. You can get that with, without yellow trinity. If you have one, maybe you need two high jumps for that actually, but you can get that without the yellow trinity. Please help me up here. Oh, they're dead. Will that despawn the enemy? No. Yeah, I could beat OC. I might do that too. I want to get my party members strong enough so that they can solo the cups so I can just sit there. But that's only necessary if I need to like step away. Which I don't. Bro, can these enemies like eat my ass? Can they like not fall down immediately and then kill my party members? What they guys already spawned oh, I hate this for me. You just have to come you just have to kill this thing. This is a Easiest I've ever been able to kill these guys though this early into the seed because of this insane fucking wooden sword right now. That's nice, that makes up for it. Usually they take like a million hits. Hello, like, oh, 11. I thought that would kill them all in one shit. One shit, one shot. Max accessories. That's a really good upgrade this early. What the hell? That's all three accessories already. Oh, yeah, Goofy has a uh, gift in put them on. Takes two MP though, so he's not gonna be able to use it. Might as well use Tornado for now. I'll just actually neither. Just let me use Jackpot. Coast Guard. Another Fairy Harp. Come on, man. Defense up. This actually is a pretty good room because it's a Yellow Trinity that gatekeeps four chests. That's like right next to each other, and one of them's always a spell. It's not Arrow though. I got gravity. Josh with a tier two for 19 months. Thank you. Force. Gravity is a good spell to give, if, to give, to have if you only have one fucking MP. These are all the best spells I could have with low MP. That's cool. I'm glad I didn't get Blizzard. The fairy harp is always going to be the same. You can't randomize two of the same key, but it's just always one slot that gets swapped around. So I just have two of the same thing, essentially. Which is good if I need to, like, turn it in or trade it. 37 fucking strength. I could actually feasibly do Hollow Bastion. I kind of want to beat up Ant uh, Riku right now. Riku Ansem. That might also be on the table with this much strength. I'm going to do this world, then I'm going to do Hollow Bastion as early as possible for, like, immediate EXP. I'm taking advantage of the 24 strength wooden sword. I 
and get early EXP. We're doing endgame worlds ASAP today. We're doing it all backwards. Hopefully they get ours. That would be really nice. And, you know, more MP. Any Selkie Woods? Yeah. I don't know if they're worth that much, though. Jack. I don't remember. It's better to save them in case the Moogle wants one, because sometimes Moogles will want um, Keyblades for potentially good trades. So it's better to just save them for the Moogle. Same with Synth items. You can sell all Synth items, except for... Moogles want Orichalcum, Gale, and Dark Matter? Yeah, Dark Matter. And Mithril, I believe. Like, just big Mithril. So, like, all shards and all that intermediary shit you can sell, and you get a shitload of money in Randa for doing that. You just need to be careful not to sell the good shit. Calcum? Yeah, hey, I guess I'm putting an H in there. Wait, the H is silent? You mean the H is silent? You can silent? choose every world that will be in KH4 with no limits, but in exchange the situation Aramita from KH3 will be in and unchanged. What if I press this button? Oh, it doesn't work. The Riku button needs to be fixed. Fuck. Missed Opossum with the 24 months. Thank you. I would rather the game be good. I don't care about worlds. So, I would not press that button. I don't give a fuck what worlds are in it, just make a good game. Why would they put the H there if they wanted it to be silent? Or each outcome? Why would they put it there? If you didn't want me to say it, you shouldn't put it there, it's, it's that easy. Simple as. Oh no, I mispronounced the fake or. If Stranger of Paradise had any representation in Cage 4, it would just be Jack in, like, fucking Agrabah. It wouldn't be a world. Stranger of Paradise has... Stranger of Paradise is actually Kingdom Hearts in the sense that it has Final Fantasy-themed worlds for other Final Fantasy games. So it wouldn't really make sense, because it's just like, hey, there's a middle. Um... It wouldn't make sense because it has a it has an FF1 world and an FF2 world or a whatever world, you know. It doesn't have its own worlds really. There's no original locations in that game other than even Lufenia DLC is based on location. They cut enemies. Bruh. You have an opinion on the two that said Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts is unnecessary? Yeah, I think that uh, opinion is fucking dumb. I wasn't supposed to come here, was I? Yeah, actually, I, what did I not do as a white trainer? Is there a chest in here? No. Oh, you know what I could do? Day's strats. I'll get myself out of this room. Didn't work. Day's strats. They actually force you to do that in days, and I went back to this game and I was like, can you do that? And it works. Oh, I actually need a thing to do this world. I forgot. That's a thing. I need an item to do this world. I don't know why this is the only world in my si in my settings that requires a key item. I feel like I was supposed to fix that. Oh well. I'm gonna beat up Riku. I think I can do it. Yeah, literally the uh, inception of the game was... Square Enix meets Disney. 
I'll get him. And so having... Well, I guess the idea behind not having them in Cage 3 was like, oh, we're so bloated with original characters that we resurrected, so we can't have, like, Leon giving us the scoop on how the world works. Which is dumb, because it's not like any of those original characters contributed all that much either. It's not like anything happened at all to warrant that, actually, like, whatsoever in that game. I don't think that it wasn't, like, specifically Arendelle bloating up the... I love to say bloat right now, I guess. I don't think it was specifically, like, Arendelle or anything. I think it was just... Page 3 got shafted in the sense that they had to switch engines, and they also had to start from scratch with, like, not only starting from scratch in Unreal, but also starting from scratch making new assets for, you know, an 8th generation game. So, like, I think... Essentially what happened, and this is definitely the case for how Scala turned out, like, almost confirmed. Oh, I have so much MP now, because it... One-winged angel, what the fuck? Trash as always. Um... It feels like the game intentionally had basically nothing happen, because one, it was just, like, a weird, uh... Finale to games that already had decent conclusions in them. Oh, except for BBS, I guess. All the game did was set up Cage 4. And maybe that had something to do with the fact that the game's development was so fucked up that they just had to focus on Disney and do nothing else, basically. I don't know. But I'm excited for Cage 4 because it's not just setting up a future game and nothing else. Ooh, four. Doing my pacifist route strats right now with this fucking stops. Give me your ethers. Ah, uh, you used them already. Whatever. Yeah, when you really think about it, Cage Three really was kind of doomed to not offer much more than was already like at play in the franchise, because it literally was just a conclusion to, like, four different spin-offs. Not spin-offs, but you know what I mean. like a really low level and they can't like kill this guy immediately. I didn't even think about that. I need MP. Please don't one-shot me, Mr. Defender. I like how gravity has a minor stop effect because they just like stop moving when they're flat. What a good spell. What a smart spell. Can I kill him with this fucking thing or is it just gonna there it goes? What are you doing, beast? Jesus, relax. I think that's the first time I've ever actually seen him get revived on his own. Uh, warp out's faster. I'm not gonna be able to get like, any of these chests because I'm just rushing this for EXP right now, but whatever. <clears throat> I guess I could get a bubble or two, but I don't want to do that because that fucking sucks. I'll just do a, another lap of this world when I actually have movement or care enough. Cage 3 should have had more fan servers, but they were afraid to because they didn't want to alienate new players. Have you seen the plot of that game? They're gonna alienate new players, they already did it by having 
Dark Riku be a thing in that game. And the way that that's super fucking complicated and everything. The H3 that I always imagined before we knew anything about that game was something that started off on a new foot, you know. Alright, I'm gonna die here a bunch of times to getting one shot by this asshole. Oh, nice, that's actually not too bad. But I only have one fucking bar of MP, but that's fine, because like, we'll just always be able to regen one instantly. The worst part about this fight is that Donald and Goofy set this guy's RV off, which is unusual. It's not something that ever happens like anywhere else. Donald and Goofy's random hits that you can't stop them from doing will just make this guy set off and you can't control it. Unless they're dead, which has its own fair share of problems. It's just a bizarrely badly designed fight in a game that is otherwise good in this department. I'm dead! Fucking ground finisher was not meant to happen. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm excited for Cage 4 because they're immediately starting off in a whole new arc. I feel like... It's really unfortunate that they didn't have a Cage 3 type game in terms of the effect on the story sooner, because like everybody who tapped out of the Kingdom Hearts franchise, reasonably so, when it became a million handheld games on every other system ever made. People tapped out of the franchise, and then when Cage 3 came back, they were like, oh, time for like a new- I'm fucking dead already. Fuck you. <laughs> no more of this conversation. You, know, you already know where I'm going with this. The average hasn't played Kingdom Hearts since Cage 2 in 2007, Andy. Uh, wanted a Cage 3 that immediately started off, you know, going into new territory, I would imagine. But then it ended up being almost 100% about stuff that happened on the PSP. Birth by Sleep's effect on the franchise has been immeasurable. Oh, Donald is giving me arrow, I just realized. He has arrow because of the yellow trinity chest. That's another thing that makes that that chest really good, actually. Also, I... Please give me a break. Donald will always get his spells in the normal order, because he's hard-coded. I don't like using that word, but it's actually appropriate here. He's hard-coded to get his spells in the correct order, unlike Sora, where it can be randomized in this mod. So that yellow trinity always makes sure that you get a party member casting arrow on you. Bruh. I'm in a yippity yapping mood tonight. Oh, what are you doing, Sora? Listen to my calls. Holy fucking level ups! That should be the thumbnail. Honestly, that should be the thumbnail. Just a full screen of level ups and like a wooden sword photoshopped onto the right side where there weren't level ups. I should do that. That would be a unique a unique uh, thumbnail. I haven't done that yet. Blue Trinity. Is that actually blue? Yeah, it is blue. Normally you get white here. MP Rage. Gift and Rage? Ooh, don't mind if I do. Doesn't have enough though. He doesn't have any fucking MP either to use it, so... Ah, 
I can't get the secret chest that you didn't know about. I can't get it. Fuck. I can't even get anything in here. I'm not gonna be able to get through the library, but is this gonna be an item? Nope. Alright, well that was worth it for the EXP alone. I'm like all fucking 15 now. I need Jack in the Box to do this dumb world. I don't want to do Monstro until I have movement. I could do it. No, I can't do it, actually. No, I think I can. I just can't get, get to Parasite Cage 2, so it's not worth it. Oh, sure. That aggro bro. Yeah, this is a mod that makes the icons for the worlds the, the official illustrated art instead of that weird 144p looking shit that they have normally. Oh. I wonder what it would be like to do a seed where I don't have to open chests in battle mod, because that's a mod that I have used in all of my rando seeds that is not actually a fart, a fart, <laughs> a part of the official experience. I should not talk anymore. I think, I, I think talking is done for the rest of the night. The rest of the rando seed is being done in silence. Jeez. I'm not even reacting to that MLP. Switch MLPs. It's not even a part of the official rando experience, I just threw it on there because I'd be like, oh, that'd be nice, and it would make the game less annoying. And I'm right. I just wonder what it would be like. Alright, we already got two fucking- this might be a really fast seed. I've got 24- I've got, like, 40 fucking strength. My controller- oh, I just double tap my pause button back, and oops. This might be a really fast seed, because I already have 40 strength. I already have two emblem pieces and, like, a bunch of raft stuff lined up. Speedrunner style commentary where they say nothing for 30 straight minutes and say thanks. They have the right idea, honestly. Speedrunning is hard and they've got to focus. It's like, um. Pro FPS commentary as well. Like actual pro FPS player commentaries and not the FPS players that may actually make more off of streaming than they do off of doing their esports circuit. You say that and then the final own piece is that final rest. Yeah, it's always like an hour in, I'm like, oh, two emblem pieces, it might be a really fast seed. Uh, fast forward to four hours later. Speaking of reports. Speaking of emblem pieces, these are the ones I actually have right now, so that's not new information. I have both of those, but there is—I don't know if it's a Rising Falls. Oh, that's the bubble chest. Okay, nav gummy. I can do that. I need that for a fish or whatever. Oh yeah, there is potentially a third emblem piece in the store. I don't know if it's a duplicate. It is a duplicate, it's a chest. Okay. So we have two emblem pieces. The one in the store I don't need to buy. Yeah, I gambled. Uh, I started the prediction like right away for uh, Raft versus Emblem. Maybe I should have made it longer, but oh well. Peddler or true? I'll make sure to get that. I'm gonna find these enemies. Do I, can I even get through this world with this movement? Usually you have high jump when you come here, right? Am I... I have common master, I'm fine. I don't need that. Oh, I'm supposed to go to the desert, that's why. New Deus Ex got canned because of layoffs. Was it gonna be a... Eidos Montreal game like the other two new ones were under Square Enix? Was that what it was, it was gonna be? Wait, what the fuck? How did that just work? 
Oh, I need to talk to them. I'm missing something. Oh yeah, I I, I, I know where to go. I, I looked at the the room I was supposed to walk into to meet Jasmine, and then I was like, wait, no, I don't need to go there, but I do. Embracer group shut them down. Didn't Embracer Group buy, like, every fucking studio and then realize that they need to make video games to make money and then they sold every studio? Or laid them all off? It's a shame Square Enix sold them in the first place after investing a million zillion dollars into NFTs as the market was crashing for that, so that's probably above all else what, why that happened the way it did. It should put Sora and Foam Stars. You know how quickly I would stream that? They should put Cloud in, F in Cage 4. I'd rather have that. They could say that Cloud and Sephiroth after Cage 2, they went to Quadratum. I got Zenta Sugan, what the hell? This is a single hit bonk seed. I think it'd be really cool if Cage 4 expanded their amount of IPs that they can use. Like, imagine if they could have, like, fucking Kiryu w walking around in Quadratum, because they they have just, like, linked up with all these other companies that are cool, instead of just being limited to their own IPs. Imagine if that happened. That would be, like, single-player Fortnite. That'd be awesome. They should do that. Or, you know, use the- remember that they have other Square Enix properties. Like that one time that they had World End with you. It'd be cool if they had, like, the girl from Paris that Eve, like, they were originally going to for this game. I don't know, Green Trendy. I feel like- I, I feel like Kingdom Hearts would actually kind of need that to stay relevant now that everybody didn't give a fuck about KH3. Well, I mean, they, they, they cared about KH3 and then they were disappointed. I feel like that's what Kingdom Hearts needs to kind of, like... Or, it, it could greatly benefit from that. At risk, like, if they don't have that, it might be stale. Because everybody's been like, yeah, it's been like... 20 fucking years of... It's been 20 fucking years of, uh, Square Enix and Disney, and they've only had Disney in most of these games ever since 2. So it would be very cool for them to branch out like that. Either within their own amount of IPs or, you know, new IPs that are outside of Square that want to fuck around and, like, link up. That'd be cool. Side quests? That'd be cool, too. Try and go the open world direction. This might make a lot of people unhappy to hear, like, a Cage 4 going open world. But I think that'd be cool. If not, like, it'd be cool if Quadratum was open world, but then you had all the other, like, Disney worlds being normal, linear experiences. Just so that there's a, a reason to go back to Quadratum. EXP ring, what the fuck? Oh, that raises MP, I could, I could eat that. Yeah, imagine if KH4 had like a Yakuza open world for Quadratum, but then they had all the rest of the worlds be normal Kingdom Hearts worlds. Like, okay, so imagine Quadratum's world layout is like, uh, you know... You know, San Francisco and how it fucking sucks because there's nothing to do in it, it's just a big square. 
Imagine if it had, like, side quests and, like, buildings you could walk into and, like, NPCs you can talk to and, like, unique stores you could buy shit from and, like, minigames when you were walking around in there, just in the city, fucking around. Wouldn't that make San Francisco so much better? Emblem piece? Wait, I didn't have that. One. Okay, now we have three emblem pieces. I didn't think that's... You're right, this is palace gates. So there were two emblem pieces in this world. Okay. Uh, it's looking real bad for raft heads right now. If I get all four emblem pieces really early, I might... Of course, it would be an emblem win, but I, I might go for raft for fun. If it's, like, immediate... Which it's looking like it's going to be. <laughs> I don't feel like having a two-hour cage from rando stream. Where am I supposed to go over here? Oh, I have three MP now. I got a level up. Okay, now we're cooking. Maybe I will give that to Goofy after all, so he can gift. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, actually. Now that I have two of my own MP. I'd rather go to get my MP back after the stop. And also Donald's arrows and cures and shit. No, he doesn't have cure, but he has the other shit. want a duplicate? It was. What the fuck? Treasure chest. How did I get a duplicate treasure chest? Wait, what? How can that happen? How can that happen without buying? I didn't buy. Wait, it's at... Huh? I've never seen... Oh, wait, I didn't even... I didn't even register this in my brain when I looked at this. One report is telling me two different... Maybe this is a raft only seed. Lose to Leon? You're right, yeah, that is a missable check. I have never seen a missable check show up twice. Hey, maybe I have seen it, but it wasn't in one page. Okay, yeah, wow, I didn't even read that when I, okay. So I got, okay, so we only have two ammo pieces, so raft heads aren't coping as hard anymore. That's really rare to see that. It feels like a minor lottery of sorts. I can't believe I didn't even think about that when I looked at that. I mean, I actually can't believe it. I've just been yippity yapping all night, but you know. It might be a fast seed that I play really slowly because I'm like so out of practice with Gage on Rando and I'm just chilling. This guy's gonna die really fast so. Or not, I'm just memed by his back shots. Dickhead boss. I knew if I had RC beat him. God damn, he's dead. Antenna. Jasmine! Alright, Peddler, what do you got? Does he show up right here or do I do need to go through another room? I want to see that compilation. I, I feel like every rando I've done without like the cutscene skipper, which I don't use anymore, has had me say that at one point. There's another wooden sword if I want to switch keyblades. Royal crown though. No, that, that, this is the shitty one. Okay, so this actually might be worth buying here, even though it's all my fucking money. If I got the, if I bought the wooden sword here, I would have the ability to switch keyblades. I'm not gonna do that. Fuck that. I'm locked in. Wooden sword only. I don't want to use any other keyblade. I don't want to even see any other keyblade. I don't want to swap off. I don't want to spend money. No way. Not having. I'm locked in. 24 strength.
how much recoil. It has like one, which is the minimum. So it's dog shit for counterattacking. The shield is 90, which is very funny because you never counterattack in the tutorial, but it's got 90. Oh, it's 30? Okay. So it's not the worst. Even one recoil can counterattack uh, shadows. In case you're wondering where that stacks up. Hey, the weakest enemies in the game, which there are plenty of, will uh, be counterattackable. Stop. That doesn't even work nice. Bonk seed, bonk seed, bonk seed. Oh, he does not like that. Look at that parry. I parried a, a flying fuck. You keep shaking your head, asshole. I found out that this guy never shakes his head. Like, he, do he, he doesn't never do it, but he will shoot like 21 beams out of his eyes before he shakes his head to try to shake you off when you play KH1J. So you can beat this guy very, very easily without him ever moving in that version. He's actually better in the first version of the game than ever. It's kind of crazy. Like they, they made the boss worse after the first version of the game. It never used to be that bad. H1J is actually so fun. More MP? Oh nice. Finally out of MP hell. I can't get that chest. Fuck that chest. I'm gonna be able to beat this Rando without getting like any of the fucking chests. Cause I already have like two humble pieces. I'll do- I'll come back for movement. When I have movement. I'll come back with movement. To, to clean ups I guess. I can get this Trinity. Rare. Uh, asshole. Come on. Are you? Hey, rare gun attack. Take it. I wish I had aerial sweep. It'd be really fun to have with uh, stupidly strong people like this. Just press X, sweep everything, and they die. Vortex would be cool to have too right now. I found out that Vortex is actually kind of good in a very niche way. It's still worse than the other things that replace it. But Vortex is kind of like a budget KH1 version of Round Break from KH2, of a Sandy Break, whatever. What the fuck over. Yeah, I have this, I forgot about that. <laughs> it's so weird looking with the fucking Zephyr wooden sword. I need to be careful with this finisher because it could crash the game, not crash the game, but it could like soft lock the game on anti sword so I need to not use it there. But it's going to destroy behemoths. Speaking of behemoths, I have the uh, nav gummy, so with this, with these spells and these stats and this finisher, I can destroy Final Dimension. I might do that next. Critical Plus! That's actually not that hype with this keyblade, but Critical Plus? Is the crash that common? Yeah. I think you could genuinely do it like 100% of the time if you just go into that fight and cast gravity or any gravity type damage. Like, I have a clip on my Twitter of Donald spawning into the anti sora fight, immediately casting gravity and immediately causing a black screen. Like, frame one, he just immediately let it rip, and then it was over. I don't know why that happens. Look at that clip. Uh, if you go on my- if you go on Twitter and you type from Stickman Sham, uh, Donald Crash or Donald Softlock, you'll find it. If you use a summon, it fixes it. I feel like I've heard the- I should try that. Yeah, it's not even a crash. I don't even really know what happens. You can get gravity. It happens in the regular game.
And you can also get... You can get Gravira by that point, actually. You can get early gravity from Fill Cup extension. Like Time Trial or whatever. I need to open that. Pick an 8? I don't know if I want to stream the game. Maybe one day, but... I feel like I'm... I'm actually not that bad at Tekken, but I know... I don't really even know character matchups. But maybe it would be fun to do, like... A stream where I just, you know, fight against friends and also, like... Ghost battle would be cool, like the AI, where you fight an AI of yourself, that'd be fun. But I wouldn't want to do, like, viewer battles or, um... Like, random player matches are ranked. I don't play any other fighting games other than Tekken. That's the only one I learned, like, well enough. I'll, I'll fuck with Third Strike from time to time because I have Third Strike on my PS3 that's on my CRT and I have an arcade stick. So it's really fun to just boot that up and press buttons because it feels good as hell to play. But I hella don't know how to play that game. <laughs> like any degree of competency, competency, it just doesn't. I don't understand the neutral or how to combo in that game. Hey, there's Jack in the Box. I can do that dumb world now. I should try seed settings where all of the worlds need to be unlocked. Like having to find the slides is a thing in Rando that I have turned off. Well, I can make it so that like you don't get the slides in their guaranteed location, so like I need to find it somewhere else. That might be fun. Is your main? I like Ibuki. I like I like that Ibuki has a high. Uh, move speed, like you know, just high mobility in general, but also like fast combos and like target combos. Soul Calibur, I yeah, I, I want to get um Soul Calibur. There's an HD version of Soul Calibur 2 on PS3, right? The best Soul Calibur is two. That much I know about Soul Calibur. Come on. I forgot I had Kill Master. I wonder if I can trigger Jafar's bubble with gravity. Let me try it. I can just stop him, but I don't have enough MP. I'll, I'll try a bubble into stop. But if he, if he bubbles, then I won't be able to use stop. I learned that the hard way last time. I'm just gonna try. Come on. This works too. I'm not gonna be able to one cycle, but it's okay. Because I learned that you can do. I might not be able to be fast enough without dodge roll, but. Yeah, there he goes. Back to the center. I learned about that recently. Don't do it! Bitch. There we go, I chipped him out. Soul Calibur 2 HD was delisted because of expired copyright. Oh, you don't know how illegal my PS3 is. I have an illegal fat PS3 jailbroken piracy edition. And I'm actually about to put my PS my old PS4's hard drive into it too, because it can do that. It's gonna have, have one terabyte, and it's gonna have like every fucking game I can think of installed onto it. So it's gonna be hella boost. I'm so excited. I'm actually going to be, um... I'm looking into... I, I meant to do this earlier today, but I got tired. Um, I'm going to... I would do it myself if I felt competent in this regard. But I want to um, get it serviced. 
you, you guys know how fucking loud that PS3 is. I want to go to like a computer slash gaming console repair shop and I want to call them and be like, hey, uh, I have a working PS3 that needs to be, you know, fully de-dusted and it's thermal paste removed. Or removed. <laughs> Completely removed. No thermal paste. No. Uh, replaced the thermal paste. How much would that cost? And if it's like a hundred dollars, then I'll have it like done for me. Reball the PS3 is expensive. Reball. You mean repair? Reball. Reball. That's bad. Is jailbroken? Can you play PS2 games on it? Oh yeah, it's the type. It's it doesn't even need to be jailbroken to play PS2 games. It's it's an old enough PS3 to do it on its own. And PS1 games too. You just pop in the disc. It's the kind that has PS2 emulation parts in it. It's not the best type, but it doesn't matter to me. Fucking guy. Stupid IB. Relax. Bro thinks he's Devil Jim. Eternal with a 10 gives it subs, Jesus fucking Christ, thank you very much, that's going straight to the PS3 fund, what the hell? Thank you. Appreciate that a lot. That was a fast genie Jafar. I switched the CFW emulated PS2 games better. Are you talking like if you have a jailbroken slim? Because I heard that you can do that to some degree. If you have a jailbroken slim, you can like enable that. But I have a. Uh, let me pull up the picture that I just took of the back of my PS3 for reference of the model number. I'm failing, dying to rocks. I'm just gonna put it on the controller. I'm doing. I'm busy. We might not be dying to rocks today. It's okay. I'm gonna get up. It is a C E C H E zero one. I don't know where that stacks up in terms of fat PS3s. In terms of like, and like how many parts are like accurate. Or, you know, how many- how much of the internals are, like, PS2 parts that just hardware run the game and not software? Because they... They slowly replaced more and more of the PS2 emulation process in the PS3s, the fat PS3s, to save money. Like, between models. But it's still, like... I don't know enough about where it's inaccurate or runs worse than a real PS2. Red Trinity. What do I do with that red, red Trinity? That's um, kind of a shitty one, right? I can do opposite armor. But yeah, I have a C A C E. I have the E model. I think that's the only letter that's different between the fat PS3s. So it's not the earliest and best one. Like the, the real launch PS3 up to like the MGS4 bundle or whatever is like 100% PS2 on the inside, and this one's more like 95% or some shit. A and B are the good ones. See, when you say good ones, what does bad entail? Exactly. Like, what is bad about the ones that aren't the good ones, like the good, good ones? Because the one and only thing that I'm aware of is that when you do Sephiroth's block RC, you get a weird sound effect. That's literally it. Like, blocking is a weird sound effect on PS3. And also, there's a PS3 exclusive glitch in H2J where you cannot beat, um,. You actually cannot beat the game. Unless you take the save file off, beat it on 
like an like a P PCSX2 or a PS2 and then put it back on. You know, the, um, what's his name? Hostile program is unkillable, but it's only Cage 2J and it's only on PS3, but I think it happens on all PS3s. I think the later ones don't have the emotion engine, which is the PS2 die. Die. You shall die. Scum. What the fuck am I doing? Uh, let's go check this world. I think for my purposes, it doesn't really matter how optimal the fat PS3 version is. Just the fact that I have it in the first place is great. Like, I, I don't split hairs over that kind of thing. And I don't actually use it for PS1 games. It would be cool, but it, um... PS1... Games on PS3 are 480i, right? Which is like kind of shitty looking, or something. I don't, I don't think I've actually really seen what it would look like. And I found my actual PS1, so I just opt to use that instead. But PS2 games and PS3 games are nice to have on one console. And of course, PS1 if I don't have the disc. Hey, I got thunder. It's alright. Yeah, I have, um, I have a PS1, and I also had monster cables. I have an S, a dedicated S-Video cable for my PS1, and I guess it also works on PS2, maybe 3, because it's the same slot. But I have an S-Video slot for, um, my PS1, and S-Video is actually so much fucking better than Composite, I never knew. Like, Composite is blurry as hell, but S-Video is, like, crisp as fuck. Like, actually, I have been taking photos on my DSLR of this playthrough. Why don't I just show you? I don't have any pictures of the composite, so you'll have to take my word for it, but there are comparisons out there. This is what I've been dealing with. This is what this is how we've been rocking it. <laughs> this guy are sick. I actually do have a photo of that. Let me find it. The only problem with my CRT is that it's got kind of weird uh, geometry issues in the top, so like when I'm walking down a, a screen, it kind of like is a little distorted, but who cares? All CRTs are like that in the end. By Lincoln Park. It's opening up a fucking Adobe. Or is it? DRT computer monitor? I've considered it, but I just don't have, um... Actually, I would have a use case for it, but it would be a downgrade. I have a spare PC that I use to, like, upload stuff overnight or, like, host servers. And it would be cool, because it's, it's right next to the CRT, so it would be cool if I had a CRT monitor next to the CRT. But the monitor that I have out there is an old ultra wide monitor, so it's really useful for like actually using that PC for more than an aesthetic. Oh, this file's taking fucking forever to open. Hold on. Is worth it. It'd be really cool to have one of those because, um, God, I. You can't find them and or they're super expensive, but there are these old really high-end CRT monitors from, like, 2006 when they were getting phased out that had to be really overpowered in order to, like, compete with LCDs and shit. There is a... 
2048p 4x3 CRT monitor. They could also do like up to 165 hertz or some shit. That's like really crazy for a CRT. That would be really cool to have. Why is this shit still fucking loading, bro? Grow up. There it goes. I found it. I love telling my equipment to grow up. But the problem with this cable, my my stupid fucking S video cable, is that it's like I have to wiggle it because it has a really faulty connection, which is stupid because it's like a, it's literally a monster cable. It's the thickest thickest blue cable I've ever seen, and it has to be wiggled in order for the signal to work. And sometimes it'll just turn gray. It'll just turn black and white, and or the sound will cut out on one side or another, or the entire thing will cut out. So I have to have it in like a very specific lineup for it to work. So I, I want to replace it, but all the good cables are like twenty dollars. Because if you get a uh, peep the candle, what is this? Warm apple pie. That's what this was. This guy are sick. I made sure to name my Aerith correctly because in this version it defaults to Aeris instead of Th. But yeah, so my um. This is S-Video. I don't have any pictures of it done in composite, but it's just way blurrier and not as sharp and nice. Um, but I have a cable that sucks and will, like, it'll cut out unless it's, like, in a very specific position. I want to replace it, but it's expensive and annoying. So I might just deal with it if, deal with it if, I, if it ever fucking cuts out or whatever. But yeah, the game has been fun and cool to play. I'm trying to beat it before Rebirth comes out. Oh, they didn't crash. I just accidentally alt tabbed. That was close. There's a glitch in the game where you can skip the second bombing mission and go straight to Walmart and your name defaults to Aerith. What the hell? Is that like some speedrunner shit? Oh yeah, nobody told me any of the strats for that game, by the way. I'm trying to go in somewhat blind and like make up my own strats. I'm also playing on active mode with um, the game battle speed set all the way to max, which might be a mistake, but I have 10k money. I was wondering if you have the wooden sword description of that. Stone statue emblem piece. Is that one that I have? Actually, that's actually unique. I do have three emblem pieces after all. I'm gonna buy it because I have 10k money. It doesn't matter. Uh. Alice Luger said 5 will get a DLC. Oh, please don't be a DLC to the existing fucking listing. Oh. Oh. Did they say it's gonna get a port too? Or is it just gonna be a fucking DLC to a three year old game? That should actually three. It's gonna be. By the time that shit comes out. Alright, let's get back to business. I've been getting sidetracked. Yeah, P3 Answer DLC. I was talking about that earlier. I'm excited for that. Maybe what they'll do is... The DLC for that game will also coincide with a port, and then, like, the port will be full-priced, but have the DLC on disc. That would be cope. I'm coping when I say that, but that'd be cool. I need to install... Here's what I was gonna do. I'm gonna install the, uh, the gummy, so I can guide... I can die a bunch in the fucking bomb dimension. Wonder why Atlas jump chipped to Nintendo. I mean, it's not unprecedented. All the games used to be Nintendo games. Until Sega and um, Devil Summoner series. Install my piece, please. 
Hi from YouTube, hello. I went to the wrong menu again. Okay, good thing I pressed no in the tutorial. That would have been bad. God, fuck. Oh, he, he's not ready to do it. I need to kill opposite armor. Oh, I can get this. I wonder if uh, Yuzu has gotten their shit together for SMT5. I played it exactly a year ago, and it crashes all the time when getting into battles. You have to use Ryujin X, which runs like shit. What's the rundown for Rafter Emblem? Uh, well, I have three emblem pieces. It's not looking good, as always, for Raft Heads. Oh yeah, I could also turn my dogs on here. Yeah, Region X is more solid in terms of graphical accuracy and not crashing, but it runs like shit. And I hate that there are two dumb fucking emulators for the Switch. Just combine teams and make one good fucking emulator, dude. It's not like this is a competition or like a, a business. Make one fucking good emulator. Team up. Assholes. And some rep. Lotus Forest Coconut. Dodge roll from Dragon Wolf. Great. <laughs> Plaza is flame. I have that. Do I have that? Hold on. Plaza. Wait, no. Hold on. First of all, blue fl flame means blue flame, which I believe I have. Yeah, I have that. Okay, never mind. NPC six super from Team Seven Minor Night One. If they did, I'm not familiar. I'm not familiar with other emulators other than Aether SX2, which is like what 14 year olds use instead of buying a PC. They just like use that on their Android and post really shitty footage of them playing Project Nobody May Cry, and it's really funny. But other than that, I'm not familiar with other PS2 emulators that are worth a damn. Yeah, I remember when I was I was talking about my, my performance issues with SMT5 and like solutions in the. Uh, um, in the Ryujin X Discord, I mentioned how much better user runs, and they were like, Oh, we don't actually try to- we don't, uh, we prefer not to talk about the other emulator in this Discord, please delete that. They didn't say please delete that, but they might as well. I keep forgetting what I'm supposed to be fucking doing, I need to press the button. Ring the bell. Is it actually time to ring the bell? Yeah, I can see the red train. Bro's on autopilot. It's easy to go in autopilot when you don't dodge roll. That's why I like not having dodge roll in the play case when rando. I just look over at chat and riff. Yippity yap. Do some bonks. PCSX2 blacklist. See if you have any indication of pirating in the game. Okay, that I can understand because emulation. They've been go the ops have been going after emulation since fucking bleem! Exclamation point. PS1 emulator from the 90s, and they they won. They defended themselves in that lawsuit on the premise that they don't actually distribute the games or whatever, and they're just you know an aside, and they don't provide the BIOS, BIOS, BIOS. What the? So yeah, no, they, they should defend themselves because you have so many fucking dumbasses. It's, like, it's, like, it's good that they blacklist people in the Discord for bringing up games or asking for games because so many dumb assholes will go to those Discords and ask, Hey, can I get the ROM for um, Spider-Man 2? And like, not only is that like encouraging illegal behavior on behalf of the official like PCSX2 team where they could get the emulator into really hot water, but also above all else, those people are fucking annoying and should be killed in terms of they should be banned. So, I sympathize. <laughs> Real. 
two people just type the real at the exact same time. Glad we're all on the same page. Goofy is dealing insane damage with Goofy Rs. Yeah, I was gonna say, did they actually? I don't. I didn't see a tweet about SMT5 DLC, and I definitely would have had people tell me sooner. If somebody could find that tweet if it exists. That'd be cool. I was thinking about doing a seed where I didn't have Combo Master guaranteed at the start. Oh, there's a tweet. Because it's kind of easy to go on autopilot when I'm swinging. It might be fun to not have Combo Master and do it old school style. Oh yeah, I remember this tweet. It's connected to SMT5. Okay, so I think what that means is um, not DLC but re-release. I remember that tweet now. SMT5 Apocalypse. Lord knows that game needs an Apocalypse and not a DLC. What did I just get? Did I got a spell. I should have gotten a spell. Oh, I got Kira. That's what that was. Install my shit, bitch. Bro. Do I have green trendy? Oh, I, I turn in my dogs. I have red, I don't remember what I can do with that. I have blue though, so I can get that rafter. SMT5 Nirvana, that'd be a cool subtitle, it would be fitting for that game. I just wonder though, would it be a sequel? Where could you go with a sequel? I mean, you already do like a Nocturne style ending, so how could you uh, Sid 2? Doesn't help me. Do I have to leave the world and come back? Maybe. I guess true neutral might be a... Oh, I did get Gravira, not Kira. I have both, actually. I got Kira earlier, okay. Gravira is very good. That'll help me when I go to, um... End of the World if the game will ever fucking let me. I had so much story people would complain. I wouldn't mind that. Maybe if it slows down the game, then sure, they should pace it well, but... At least have something. I'd rather have too much than too little. What am I supposed to do to get this asshole to install my shit? I have a nav gummy right here. I've never actually gotten the nav gummy this early, so I don't really know what I'm... Wait, actually, where is the nav gummy? No, I didn't get the nav gummy, but I know where it is. That's what... that's what's up. It's in a report. It's on my inventory. Oh, where? Rising Falls, and it's in the bubble. Okay. On paper, this is probably like a one-hour seed in the in the hands of a smart and competent player, but that's not what I'm about. I was really tired at the start of the stream, because I had just woken up from falling asleep in my chair for like 30 minutes, but now I'm like... I've got a second wind like crazy. Washed. This is what happens when you do one rando a month, and it's great. Just the way I want it. I think this is it. Oh no, it might be the, uh, fuck. It could be the chest I can't get to because I don't blizzard. That would be really fucking annoying. I could just do Wonderland for a spell that might be blizzard. That'd be a gamble. 33 or 25% chance. It could be that, or that. Both I can get without movement, or Blizzard. Or it could be this, too, or the White Trinity. None of which I can get. That chest you need to do HP1 to get because the bubble doesn't spawn until HP2. Or it could be that. Hold on. I don't want Trinity, fuck. I can get this with, uh, Combo Master. Oh, that's Goofy's chair.
Yeah, I can't get anything else here until I come back with Blizzard, High Jump, or White Trinity. That's really annoying because I had a very big play here lined up where I could go to end of the world as soon as possible and get a bunch of levels. But who needs levels? I have 24 fucking strength wooden sword. If I want levels, I could just go to Halloween Town and destroy Oogie Boogie. Because now I have the thing up up. I want green trinity. Where did I get more trinities? I guess there's the deep jungle and hurt cup. Oh yeah, so these two. There's a good chance I just get the last emblem now and I can just like play the rest of the game. <laughs> but I kind of want to hold out for a raft just for the sake of having a longer stream. But it's looking like Emblem's going to get the win. Even if I do go for a raft. Monstro? Uh, I actually can't because I don't have high jump. You genuinely, genuinely need high jump to do that. So maybe I can find it there. That's what happened last time. Let's do Halloween Town. I like the idea of doing it early and I wasn't able to. Let's all try to have a normal life. You first. What the fuck you saying? Wait, what's the item I need? I need Jack in the box, right? It's a surprise. But I need to talk to the stupid fucking mayor, so I have to go all the way back in there. Get my thing, my bub. You know what camera mod this game could benefit from? Instead of having a stupid mod that looks like shit where it zooms out the camera, just like KH2 tier, they should have a camera mod that makes the camera look like this. Because in this world, you get a slightly far farther back camera that's also, like, higher up. I think for all people that complain about KH1 camera, that would be a, a good uh, middle ground. I think the KH1 camera is perfect. And it's a distance. Yeah, same thing happens in Hollow Bastion as well. You get alternative camera. See, now it's back to normal, I think? I don't remember. Oh, I have thunder. It's not going to do any damage here. Gravira might roll though, Or at least help stop these assholes. Just a one tap. Just slap them. H1 camera does suck in an unmodded state because of the speed of the analog stick, which is a HD problem. And it got worse on PC somehow. But with the mods, it's great. Wait, what's happening? Jack in the box, the surprise. Maybe now I can go back. I'm just gonna warp in this world. Right, yeah, talking to him is some kind of like progression flag, right? mod L2R2 back in. That'd be cool. I remember before we had an actual camera mod, I did a weird workaround on my uh, controller with DS4 Windows where I mapped L2 and R2 to moving the mouse because the mouse doesn't have the same issue. And it actually did function like like identically to the old L2R2, but then a mod got created like a month later. I was like, oh, okay. How's Raft going? Very badly compared to Emblem. Emblem is already three deep, as usual. Well, who knows? Maybe we'll get a fucking report that says the last Emblem piece is in Final Rest and I won't be able to buy it. That'd be cool. I'd love to see Raft win first. I think it's only happened one other time. Yeah. See ya, force. Come on. 
I have a hangover? Hold on, let me help you with that. I have just the thing that might soothe your ears. I was hoping that would be more high-pitched and awful to hear, but that'll have to do. Dance is suiting, huh? It's a big AoE. Oh uh, yeah, I can't wait for the sleeping viewers to get woken up by that. Oops. My most reliable fan base has been scorned. Sorry, sleepers. Imagine getting 100 hits here by doing this. This must be the intended strat for these assholes in this room. Just hitting them up the slope and hoping that they don't land on some stray geometry that makes them land. But like, why are they here? That must be the only way. Like, sloping them. Sloping my nuts. Nightly. hits in Monstro. That actually seems easier because you could do like the arrow thing where you stand under them with like Aroga or whatever hits them. Aurora, I think. That seems like actually one of the best places where you could do that. But with normal hits, yeah, that shit would be ass. I can't get that chest. Yeah, Neverland is where I see people do the arrow, and it also has the f yeah the flying makes it so you just like time your X inputs. I I find it kind of easy to do in Olympus though. You can do it really fast in Olympus if you're sick with the timing, and you can do one twos. But you know it's not easy to do. But I can get pretty far into it if I do that. What? A I don't fire. Fuck. I got the fish though, that's actually what I was here for. But I cannot do community climb without high jump. I think I'm actually locked out here because I don't fire. Or am I? You asshole with your fucking auto lock. <gasps> okay, I got lucky with the boat. Boat. I get that red train, you. This is all Sham's fault. You know, this red trinity isn't here in PS2. They just put that there because they realized that it's an ammo piece. Is that the last one? These fucking jumping assholes. I have an idea. Stimulus package. That's the last emblem piece, bro. It's done. Let me buy some stuff. Yeah, I guess I can I can fucking pay out now. 
This is the fastest seed ever. And I think I want to beat it and then play Tony Hawk. Because I don't know when the fuck I'll have a chance to play that when Persona 3 comes out. Where am I? Oh yeah, I'm in the wrong place. I want to check uh, Twilight Town for some Travis Town for some drip. Yeah, I haven't I haven't played Proven Ground in a while. And I'm actually really close to beating it, but I don't think I'd be able to beat it tonight. But it would be nice to get a little closer. Hey, do you Tony here? Hey man, Tony here. That's what he says. 41 fucking strength, bro. That's very good for Hollow Bastion. I don't like Don and Goofy aren't all, all that well stacked, but like they will be by the end of Hollow Bastion. Am I gonna be able to get through Hollow Bastion without like any movement? That might be an issue. Next chaos event. I have an idea for next Stranger Paradise playthrough. I want to do a fist only playthrough. Using only jobs that can use fists. So, like, I'd probably do Ninja Tyrant. job. Tyrant and Ninja are like expert jobs. Tyrant is gas because you can literally just make your element whatever you want on your weapons and then just go in. Random X2 with another 100 bits like I wonder how fast the seed would have been if I, like, did everything I did just, like, without any, like, pauses or time to just, like, talk to chat or, uh, getting lost. Because, like, to recap, I got... Or... I got my first animal piece off of beating Leon. I got my second one from going to Agrabra. I got my third one... Uh, from the store, and I got my fourth one from that red trinity, which I almost missed. I guess I got locked out of Halloween Town because I needed Jack in the Box, which I later found pretty quick. But like, the only thing that I really needed this seed was to get Jack in the Box to get uh, the other thing. I'm gonna get some quick kills along the way just so I can get EXP. I got the EXP ring. Thought SP ninjas would use kunais and daggers. Uh, Ninja and Stranger of Paradise can use katana. Dual daggers, or whatever that's called, and fists, and maybe one more thing. They also, I think they can also use guns. I'm gonna have a hard time fighting Ansem with this current loadout, so I might need to actually go and get more, but hopefully I get it on the way. It seems to be the theme of the seat is finding everything just incidentally. Dumbo for Dumbo Skip? I don't have any summons. I don't have the summon button, and I can't talk to Merlin. <laughs> I don't have fire to get to Merlin to talk to Dumbo. Gun is for all? Yeah, I, th I recall that as well. Which is weird because gun is also like the rarest weapon type to find. It just does not show up often. I've played Neo one like many years ago. I tried replaying it, but Stranger Paradise just shits all over Neo. Like you have a stam stamina meter fucking sucks in any game that isn't Souls. So going back and playing Neo after playing SOP, it's just like, get that stamina bar out of here. Does Neo 2 have a stamina bar that stops you from dodging and pressing your buttons? Stamina sucks. The only game that warrants having stamina is Dark Souls.
Neo 1 also doesn't have L3 to sprint, which is like so nice in Stranger Paradise, and I guess Neo has that as well, but Neo 2 rather. Kingsfield. I played Loon Acid, and I thought it kind of sucked. After the novelty of playing Loon Acid wore off, Dream Sword, what the fuck? Oh. Yeah, Key Recharge is cool, but it's still like... I don't know. I think that Stranger Paradise just doesn't have it, and it has a KH1 style MP system instead. More or less. Bro, imagine the SOP MP bar in Cage 2. SOP's magic system is really cool. You can do it without the building of MP aspect of it, but that's kind of like mitigated in endgame anyways. You find so many ways to just immediately get five bars. Yeah, this thing has 24 strength. Half of my MP is this one wooden sword. I have my MP. My strength. It's also minus two MP, so I would have like five or six by now if I went for it. Wish I had ours. I want to win it. I'm fucking killed. One thing I don't like about this seat is that I don't have like ours or Hurricane Blast or Slapshot. So it's kind of just strength only. But I'm down for a KH1 ran to see if I can just beat really fucking fast. Usually it's a 5 hour hell seed ordeal. Which I'm always up for when I put this game up, but I like the idea of beat the shit today. Speaking of MP. Yeah, the no movement, no modifier, no limit seed. Fucking wooden sword. I can get chests in battle, but I can't interact with stuff and get Trinity, so I actually need to take this fight. There are mods that exist that you can open up stuff, like buttons in combat, but I like having a fight for these. These are like mini fights, like Cage 2. Where the fuck did I get that other one? I, never, I haven't done this legitimately in like ages. How do I get that other button? Oh, did I miss- is it like over there and I missed it? It actually might be. I'm just worried- I always worry about final ansem with the lasers. If I- if you have like super low health, no arrow, no second chance, or a leaf bracer, it really is just terrible. And makes you feel like you're soft locked. It's doable, but you have to just play it so slow and hope that you have like 50 strength in order to at least do it fast. But it can be done, I guess. Maybe today's the day I test myself, because I remember last time I was worried a lot because I didn't have either of the two good defense abilities, but I beat him anyways off of pure strength, so maybe today might be another one of those, but like with even less defense and health and no arrow. And having no arrow is also a big, uh, worry. Especially if I have a minus two MP keyblade like this. Keyblade, quote unquote. Yeah, I've only killed like three fucking bosses. Have I even completed a full world visit? The only world I've actually completed in full was Agraba. And soon to be this one. But I, I got what I needed in Halloween Town without killing any oogies. And I didn't get to any bosses in Neverland because no green trinity. Yeah, 24 is the cap for randomized keyblade stats. This is literally the best that it can be. This should help. I think the the hypothetical best keyblade you can get in KH1 Rando is um 
one winged angel with 24 strength because it would be 24 strength plus like eight damage eight eight more strength on crits or whatever or 13 i forget what it, the crit bonus is but it's like something abnormally high crit bonus so like 24 base strength plus an eight crit and maybe i don't I've never seen a 20 strength keyblade that doesn't have like minus to MP, but maybe it's possible for it to also have like plus one or two MP. So yeah, imagine all that put together. That's a lot of damage. That didn't work. Yeah, look at this damage. This is damage cap right now. It's like every hit is a crit. Uh, Donald, please arrow I me. Mean, you don't have any MP, but... Don't heal yourself. He fired with his MP that I gave him a fucking Aether Force. Donald, throw up. Why are you on the platform? There you go. Bro, why are you doing that? You just landed. I hate, I hate that fucking stupid spinny shit that forces you off in like five different ways. Come on, man. Dragon Mal? Probably. I'll probably have an issue there in a minute here. We'll see. Maybe I'll have to do some shit to level first. Cage 1 will actually level check you harder than Cage 2, Rando. Which, you know, it's Cage 2, so you don't need to do any level in particular. Though. Oh, I walked into that. Oops. Donald didn't have any MP going to that, so he kind of threw. I guess. Is it yeah, I don't think I think in order to avoid getting spun off, you need to high jump and glide so you can like glide away, stop it from activating that, and then you glide back on, and then she just doesn't do anything about it. The pop on doesn't fuck you up. Is it just me, or have you ever seen Maleficent stagger like that? Usually she's like doing something, you just hit her through her action, but she's just like getting slapped. That's very unusual. He also hasn't summoned her defenders. Huh? Have I like unlocked a new strategy that I didn't ever do before? What's going on? Okay, that time I fucked up the timing. But if I had gotten that finish room, like, as she was landing, I think that would have been a full stun lock. I've never actually seen that. That's kind of crazy. I did the entire fight with no defenders or meteors. What the fuck? She did one attack, and it was the bonk at the end. Interesting. I thought you can just finish her stun lock her forever. Usually I just like, usually everybody just like ours is in it doesn't actually cause a full stun lock like that. Alright, now we're gonna have problems. I guess hypothetically I could switch to a Keyblade that has MP and it might be enough to do the proper loop, but I would lose half my strength and also lose the Keyblade forever. So I'm just gonna go in raw and we're just gonna hope for the best. Oh, 33 with how many defense? 20, 45 attack? Damn. You can buy it back. That was the peddler. The peddler had it, now the peddler's gone forever. And I, I made the uh, decision to not buy it because I'm locked in. I'm committed to the wooden sword. Wooden sword only run to the grave. I 
just stops in the last two seconds. Oh, as I thought. Well, I'm better than that. Oh. Uh, Donald, I need you back. I'm about to die. Oh, is this fire? Is this considered fire damage? Donald, arrow me right now. That's all I needed to do. What are you doing? You are set to use that as little as possible. What if I take damage? Will you do it? There you go. AI manipulation. Was this the goofy only one? Maybe I fucked up his settings and he's set to do everything else that I think he's not gonna do. This is going pretty well, actually. I just need to have Donald arrow me if I want to go in hard. Hey, Goofy, you need to gift Donald so that I can get arrow. Goofy, why didn't you do anything? Okay, well, now Donald can arrow, but I don't have enough lost HP to do it. I thought he would just do it. He should be doing it without me needing to lose health. Why are you just staring at me? Okay. Bro froze. Okay, I don't think I have him set up correctly, because he just ran in and blizzard. I thought I set him to defense only. So many good thumbnail choices today, huh? I thought YouTube was gonna have a feature where you could have multiple thumbnails that get shown to people at random. And you get to see how, like, each one performs. I thought I saw, like, a press release about that, and I haven't- I don't have access to it. I don't think anyone does. One parry? Okay. Oh, now I have no items, so... But there's an arrow. Give me a cure. What is Goofy doing You're for that dead. matter? Where's the gifts? I guess we don't want to fight. We don't have enough max MP for him to actually use it right now, which is weird. Oh, fuck. I literally cannot escape that as soon as it happens. Okay, I need to check this. Bro, what the fuck? It's literally set perfectly. This could be better, though. I guess I could also use more items. This is the place to use Mega Elixirs, I think. All of them. At least just three. And Sora, and then... Let me save so I don't have to redo that menu, and we'll walk across the full room if I room transition. MP gift on? I believe so. What have I done? I don't have it on. What what has happened? Oh, I didn't have any AP for him like two hours ago, and I was like, well, I'm not gonna look at this menu ever. Okay, that was a big user error on my part. Okay, well, now he has Gift of Rage and Haste. That will uh, that'll help things, I, I think. It's safe to say. I have so much AP, what the hell happened? Why do I have no abilities? Sonic Blade, I, I guess I have that now. Do I put in combo pluses? No. 
Yeah, that, that was sus. I knew something was wrong. I just can't believe I forgot to put that on. I've just been getting like everything in the seat. I've been too busy to care. Every item, anyway, should ever fucking set up properly, so. You were at Hollow Bastion. I was trying to figure out where you were. You're observant. Budget stop loop ever performed. Oh, oh fuck. Uh, don't give me arrow. I'm like level 30. I mean, this is a randomized stage one seat, so all my stats are wrong. Okay, now Donald isn't behaving. Still hold dead. I think I do need to take damage, though, for Arrow to trigger on his AI. He, now he should arrow me, like, immediately. No? Constant defense, he's not doing shit. What was that? I wonder if it does have anything to do with him having his staff out. Does he not cast anything unless he has his staff out because he tried to do a standard attack? He, he really should be arrow anymore. Oh yeah, I could also maybe put on Inferno Bands if this counts as fire damage and not dark damage. Okay, this guy just doesn't want to do arrow, I guess. Sometimes he does it frame one at the start of the fight, sometimes he just never does it, I guess. Yeah, MP level ups, all level up stats like accessories and MP, HP, strength, that's all random as well. You almost always have a shitload of strength because the Keyblade stats are inflated in terms of strength. They never get more MP than normal though, I've never seen 4 MP, it's always 3 at most, like Diamond Dust. I don't have dodge roll. Ugh. <laughs> it bucks. Oh. Why does Donald not want to do it? Why don't you do it? Things could have killed me if they aimed. Uh, I 
is not worth healing Donald. He's not doing shit. I should just be healing Goofy. You can use MP Rage everything and give me MP. You get back where I can I should avoid it using that Mega Lutzer this way. Oh boy. He also has Mega Potions, so crazy it seems. I just need to stop him. That's all I need to do. Oh my god. Oh my god. God bless the cage one MP system. It's holding the entire fight together by how much. I get so much fucking MP from hitting this guy because I'm under leveled. Do you know it works like that? You gain more MP back per hit if you're under leveled relative to the enemy you're fighting. I think that also applies to bosses, as you can see here. This is like double MP haste tier of yellow per hit. He's 1 HP. Bitch. Speaking of MP haste. Just had to slow play that. Donald does not have cure actually. In rando, Donald spells are gained in the normal order, so I would have to go do deep jungle. I would get a random spell, but he would get his normal one because it's like hard coded or some shit. Dodge roll! Oh yeah, the, the reports told me I'd get it here, thank god. Alright, now it's time to use fucking Sonic Blade against Riku Ensom. That's gonna be really funny. Also, and the Sukun's worthless here because he voids gravity. When Goofy has Treasure Magnet, you want him to have, um... Like, if he has MP Gift, then Treasure Magnet is worth it on Goofy as opposed to Sora. Because normally you want Sora to get the MP, but if Goofy can convert the MP from 2 to 3, you want him to have all the Treasure Magnets because he'll get all the MP and then he'll gift you more. Aerith Magic Check, Donald can get Cure. That's really smart, I never thought about that. That is a good way to get Donald's Cure for Final Fights. Plus, I'll get um, whatever cure is as well, because I, I haven't done Deep Jungle, so I'll get a new spell for that. I might get Arrow. That is a very good suggestion. Being a look, so what am I doing? Oh, I should also put on... Um, is it worth putting on the EXP ring? I'm going to lose some strength here, but I'm hitting the damage cap. Yeah, I'm way over, so I can take Goofy's EXP ring, give it to myself for the solo fight. Plus, uh, this is, that's not even strength related, just give me that. There we go. I'm not even losing strength, it's just more MP. I should just have that on forever until I get more strength. I don't need because I have this fucking weapon. Yeah, Donald healing Goofy so that Goofy can throw MP gift always is ideal. Alright, no arrow, let's go. Come. Oh nice, I have the Sonic Blade mod that makes it work like it's supposed to. Don't forget I have dodge roll. And I have guard. You can counter him with a wooden fucking sword! Okay, not in this phase. Oh! Oh, that's what we're gonna have to deal with here. Oh, I gotta do this manually. Room safe. Okay, so yeah, counter attack will work in the first place, but not when he's got his install. Unfortunately. Let's 
strength on the wooden sword. Uh, 24. Half my strength stat is the wooden sword. I almost fell off. Not sure how the game calculates which attacks can be countered. It's, uh, the Keyblades have a recoil stat, and enemies' attacks have a recoil, prime, like, a, a re they have their own recoil that they'll deal, so, like, if you have 30 and they deal, like, 29 or whatever it might be internally, then I win. But if it's higher than 30, then I lose. And get deflected. Simple as. You can either have 1, 30, 60, or 90. And there are some things in the game that are over 90. Are you supposed to do something else? Oh. I know it. Let's do it old school style. Okay, you cannot do it with that finisher. Actually, I know, I know, I know how to do it old school style. That should be working better. Oh no, that it doesn't work in first phase. That's why that happened. You can only do that in phase two. Come on. It should have Oh, we didn't like that. Ooh, he got me in the air. Fucking dragon punch. Dickhead. Okay, so the loop that you can do on this guy without hurricane blast and an air combo plus is you do a 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two, and you want the second 2 to be a thrust, which it will be at just, you know, in the fighting circumstance here. Because the thrust will have enough parry frames to immediately counter his spin counter, but only the spin counter, not the other one. The first thing I'm gonna just do this. Holy shit, Sonic Blade sucks. Look at the damage I'm dealing. And look how much it's gonna be not killed on me. Oh, uh, Vethers. I forgot to re equip them. Oh, I, I tried to walk that, but I got hit lasers. I room saved the EXP ring. I just forgot to room save the fucking elixirs. Hold on. Oh, what the hell? I didn't do that. I'm dumb. Good thing I died. Wait a minute, I think actually there's something about this grand hall that doesn't work with room saves. You have to go back two rooms because it's like broken. See how I respond over there or not in front of that door? The room save just doesn't work in that situation, it's annoying. I still don't have my shadow, by the way. I lost it in Neverland. I'm not getting it back in the rest of the playthrough. Oh my god. I've just hit him three times in this first phase, or else he'll hurt me. Sometimes. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Dumbass combo. Now would be timed better.
Yeah, when you mentioned, I think it, Sonic Blade does have some kind of weird special element to it. Or maybe Sonic Blade is just that bad, but I don't think it should be dealing that less. I think it's just being hard resisted, like 50% by some shit. I think Kingdom Hearts games usually do have a special damage type. Did items get put on? Did they? How much MP do I have? Come. Bruh, my room save didn't work. I went back two rooms. Hold on, kill my ass. Who programmed this game? I have an idea. I don't know how to fix this dilemma. I'm just gonna save the game with the Save Anywhere mod in that room and then I'll have it. Also, I can dodge roll. Don't forget, I can dodge roll. I'll just load when I die. Beast has a Moogle badge? What happened here? It's an MP. Look at that. Yeah, that's a goofy. I don't think he resists ours, though. That's the thing, I think Sonic Blade is special in that regard. You can't skip PS2 Riku even on PS2 FM? Damn, it's exempt from that? That's funny. <laughs> what are the one cutscene where it's an issue? The fuck? You don't get the prompt going into the cutscene? I wonder if that's because it's not a room transition. Doesn't that happen on room transition usually? Come. Yeah! Yeah. Lax Dramatic. I shouldn't do a one, one, two, three. I should just do a one, two, three in this phase. And back off. Show me your power. Ah, uh, that's hard to... Okay, I think you need to mash that if you're doing a full combo. Stun type damage. Okay, that makes sense. I forgot that it has an ailment attached to it. Oh, I was supposed to load. Fucking A. Can I still do that? You know what I can. This is gonna crash the game, isn't it? Oh right, yeah, that, that button doesn't work. It's okay, I saved. Hold on, let me just fucking reboot the game because the game doesn't fucking work. I'll just load and then I'll be there. Yeah, I guess on PC, the the load title screen button just doesn't work. I think I should just press the soft reset button. I have two KH1s open. Let me see if this is the correct one. I was the wrong one. There we go. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Accidentally just loaded the game without my mods. Hold on, I have to re-reboot that. Press the build and run button because I just unbuilt my mods. Bro, what's my manager doing? Give me the option. What are we doing here? 
Close the program. Oh yeah, KH1 has always made you close the program. Did they really not make it so that PC fucking just has a button to close the program in that menu? That's really funny. Because normally it's like, oh yeah, you have to reset your PS2. Game's done. And I guess they never fixed that, even on HD. I'm just going to turn off this fucking 3 gigabyte texture pack that sucks so that it doesn't take 5 years to rebuild the game every time I need to do this. Hold on. When you load up the mod manager, you have to press a build and run button that gets all the mods going and it takes forever if you have a texture pack. There we go. Texture pack makes it so that the the fungus artless uh doesn't actually turn silver when they go Metal Mario mode, and they never fixed it. I bought a PS2 and I got scammed out of $30. You tried to buy a PS2 for $30? First and foremost, sorry that happened. Second of all, you fucked up. It's not that cheap. Alright, we're back at it. PS2, that's at least going to run you $90. PS2 Slim at 20 for a yard sale? Okay, well, that's at least, like, in person. That's, like, easy mode. I would get a, like, a PS2, but I have a PS3, so, like, I'd, it's easier to use a PS3. Alright, we're back. I'm doing the wrong combo. Show me your power. Bro, stop swing. Stop pressing buttons. There you go. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Come on. Come on. Oh, immediate into DM? Cute. Hold on the right spot. I can't see anything. Okay. Oh, I whiffed the old red spot. No! Every time I jump it, that's a fucking laser up my ass. Don't ever jump straight up. You have to jump to the side. Why am I jumping? I have dodge roll. Fuck. H1 Rhino Brain. Oh, that worked. Riku DM was scuffed in French. I actually found out that's because of my... I believe that's because of my PS3. It's fucked up like that on E and J. It might be a PS3 thing. Bro. I could have died there. I was too impatient. Damn, you really don't need a hurricane blast for this. Oops. I shouldn't have supposed to fuck up my timing. Are we gonna get here? No, this is another safe spot. Bro, how did that fail? Okay, I can't see. Oh. Come on. 
I'll take it. Triple D on my ass. Goofy ass with wooden sword user. Whoa. You know, I'm gonna do something silly. Check this out. You want DM? I'll DM. I'm sore. I can do whatever I want. Bitch! Dark Aura versus Light Aura. Anime battle. Hooray! I had enough. Square still sells Cage 2 on their official store. You mean PS2 Cage 2? That's still in print? I would imagine it is, because like it's one of the like top 10 selling PS2 games, right? Keep that shit in print. Do they sell PS1 games in print? I wonder. FF9? No. Final Fantasy Origins? Is that also what the fucking PS1 compilation is called? I have only known that in reference to Stranger of Paradise, which is funny that it reuses that. Tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. I'm Leon, I'm falling asleep. Alright, let's check new stores. It's a shame I don't have green trendy for the Moogle. They probably have some good shit up there. So if I wanted to do it, I'd have to do Deep Jungle, which wouldn't take me very long if I wanted to. Making emoji. Do I dare? Oh yeah, I should, um... I would get Cure, which I'm gonna get anyways. I'm not gonna do Deep Jungle, it's not worth it. Even though I could do it in 10 minutes or less. Get through deep jungle in 10 minutes or less. With the Power Wild Circuit. Oh no, I'm not trying to do that. I didn't get this chest, did I? I did. Jeep Jungle. I should have called it Jeep Jungle in that video just to gaslight people. It would have been funny. Have any of y'all been getting the bad abilities video on your uh, feed recently? It started getting a bunch of views out of nowhere. Even though it's like a year and a half old. She deep in my jungle till I get through it in 10 minutes. I need to make more videos of that style. I haven't made a lot of videos like that because I've been working on a KH1 video that'll be like an hour long, talking about vanilla versions. I've been working on that for a, a long time. But I'm pretty far into the process of making that, so get excited for a very big and fun KH1 video. I don't have any more dogs to turn in, down. It really does do stun damage. I never knew that was a thing. The more you know. Where am I going? Just go to fucking waterway. Hidden keyword properties. I've that's in the work. I've put that's not in the works, but I have had that video in my head as well. Hidden stats, hidden keyblade stats, talking about how crits work and uh recoil.
I think the hardest part about making videos like that is that you basically have to do a whole new playthrough every time you want to get the footage for it, because you kind of need a lot of specific stuff. <laughs> Osaka Buckle video. I can make a little shit post about that, I imagine. Potion. Alright, you know what? I want to get this glitch. I haven't shown this off in a while. I may have just gotten it. No, I didn't get it. It's also double speed because of this weird fucking mod. I looked everywhere for you, but you were with me all along. Finally, we're together, Kyrie. Now it's time to get Riku back. You think it'll ever be the same? Yeah, it didn't get it to work. I could probably load, but if I... What is the soft reset? I need to try that. I want to get this... Actually, whoa, I got Oblivion instead of Oathkeeper. Hold up. Whose fanfic is this? Goth Kyrie? I guess I have both of these. Oblivion is kind of a good magic keyboard right now. Uh, let's see if the soft reset... Um, oh, I guess I could just kill myself. Hold on. Did I just break the seed? No, I didn't. I just had to pick that up again. I just got scared. Because I thought I saved after I did that. I don't think that worked. Can you kill yourself mid cutscene? I don't want to try that. Maybe I'll try that after the seed, though. Just load back to that and die. I've killed myself in this game in very strange places, like in the gummy menu, and it killed all of the menus. That was a scary one. In order to get this cutscene glitch, you have to like dodge roll into the cutscene trigger at the right place, and I don't know what the lineup is for it. Okay, well, I think I just found a good way to line it up. That mossy rock in the water is like right before the, the lineup. PS2 Recom does not have um, dubs. The only versions that have French, German, and Spanish is um, 1 and 2. Nothing else got them. They weren't big enough to uh, warrant getting that. That's what I'm doing press continue. Okay, this mossy rock. The trigger is like right there. So what if I I didn't work at all? You know it works if he immediately starts out swinging there. I'm so happy about crashing the game on the Switch version. That's the funniest thing, one of the funniest things I've ever done. I was pulling off the MF crash on the fucking Switch version and then having it immediately reboot to the main menu. I can only imagine what that looked like internally. How do you do this? I thought I got it earlier. Maybe it doesn't work when you have to speed up. A light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, your grandma's story, right? Interesting though, this isn't speeding that's up right. the cutscene anymore. We were together. Maybe I did get it, and that's why it was sped up, but this the speed up makes it also not make Sora go haywire. I'll try it one more time. It might not work under these modded circumstances, unfortunately. Oh, 
At least now I know the lineup for this. Okay, like right here. See this? The cutscene load trigger is like right in the middle of the screen. That other colored rock. Oh yeah. I think I need to be further up though. But yeah, keep that in mind, I guess, if you're trying to get Oathkeeper cutscene glitch. I don't think it works in Rando when you have the uh, unskippable cutscene, the unskippable animation speed up mod. For some reason, but it might help you in the future. Or myself. Damn, you can't even get to Merlin through this bum ass shortcut. You need to actually unlock it properly. I'm excited for Cage 4. I really am. What I wanted out of Cage 3 was a new storyline, and it was destined to not be that because it was the finale of the secret that was. It was the finale of the Dark Seeker saga, so like it couldn't be good. In that department, in that new department of new things, there's never gonna be that. Cage 4 though is already a new thing, so that's already so much for me. What the fuck did they decomp Cage 1 and Cage 2? There actually was a project to do that, but it got it didn't get off the ground. Apparently it's getting some kind of updates in some way. Crystal Crown! Is that the good one? It is! What the fuck? Bro, I just pulled Crystal Crown out of that guy's ass. What the fuck? I can farm that. Hold on. Who dropped that? Was that a yellow Nocturne? Yeah, it can, it can happen again. Does anybody have Lucky Strike? That's a low percent chance to drop by the- What the fuck? I forgot that was a Martin clip. <laughs> okay, well... Yellow Nocturnes can do that, so I might try to farm for that, because that would be fucking great in Ansem. You're fucking dead. You're dead. They will hunt you down like a dog. Rare, handed use of Sonic Blood being good here. We're gonna respawn Yellow Nocturnes at a fast rate. We don't do Heaven or Hell for Cage 1, that's for Cage 2, but for Cage 1 we do Raptor Emblem and we got Emblem. That's kind of like... Uh, this has been a, in terms of Cage 2 terms, this has been a very Heaven Seed because I've gotten so much good shit really fast. Now the only problem is beating the game at a low level. That's kind of a cool dynamic that Cage 1 Rando has, isn't it? Third district door? Ooh, okay, I think I know what it is. Case run Rando is a funny dynamic where the easier the seed is, the harder the final bosses are. Because you don't have as much shit. Oh, here they are. Oh yeah, I'm I'm um I'm streaming Persona 3 reload shortly after release. I'll I'll be I'll be playing it like a day or two after it comes out because I'll be busy Friday and or Saturday. So I'll let you guys get a little head start on playing that so you can watch my stream. Spoiler free. Or whatever. Plus it'll give me time to see if the lunatic difficulty is worth doing, because I want to do it. I put OGP3. That was my first um, Mega Ten game, actually. First time seeing it was seeing a playthrough of P5, and then I played P3, and I played DDS. It was a pretty interesting trajectory to have, but I was like, "Damn, DDS is goaded. The menus feel good, and the gameplay is faster and more open-ended." Gives more clock force guys. I did not. I have stop and thunder. I could get the.
Yeah, it was Fez. Halfway through the playthrough, I installed the, um... Direct Control mod, because I was like, damn, this kind of sucks. And then it was like, damn, this is cool again. I got so lucky getting that crystal crown the first time I decided to bonk one of these guys. I might not get it again with no lucky strikes like this. I want to play P5 at some point, take the plunge just so I can fairly review that game. I don't think it's bad. Like, everybody, everybody likes to say it's bad just because it's so... Everybody is forced to see and hear people talk about that game so much. Because it's just so popular, so like, it gets a bad rap in that department. And damn do people make it hard to not feel that way because of how much it constantly gets brought back up, even when reviewing P3. That recent review where it's like, Hans, it's not P5. Oh, you yeah, press the buttons. I was thinking about switching to Proving Ground after beating the seed, but it looks like the seed's gonna take a bit longer than I thought. Plus, I'm really fucking hungry. So I'll save a random Tony Hawk event for another night. Persona 5 Royal is legit evil. It's just a shame that it's way too easy even on hard. Yeah, if I was gonna play that, it'd be on hard and not merciless. But it looks like P3 is making its merciless mode actually harder by not having a times 3 multiplier. I give it the 200 bits. Yeah, P5 is kind of like the whole cage 2 crowd mode is more of a headache than critical mode type deal, except Merciless doesn't have the same amount of things that make critical mode harder than crowd. In fact, it, had, like, it has stuff about critical mode that makes critical sometimes easier than proud, but they crank that shit even higher in the player's favor. I'm just wondering, what would be a better experience for me to play it? Would it be hard, genuinely? Or would Merciless be, like, easier but more fun? I fucking got I have to redo all those fights now because I got poster! Hard, I would say. That's what I was thinking, too, because I saw people comparing the lengths of fights. And, like, hard, you have, like, the longest fights. But, I'm gonna give y'all, like, two days to see if Merciless is actually a good hardest mode. Because it also, Merciless has a thing where you can't... If you switch the difficulty down from Merciless, you can't switch it back up to Merciless, which is kind of cool. I like the idea of it being you have to hard commit to it. And I want to do it. Lunatic? Yeah. I just want to give it a day, just to see if it's like a meme or shitty or just like Merciless. But even if it's just like Merciless, I think I'll do it anyway, because who the fuck cares anyway? People were saying, they couldn't confirm, but they were saying that, like, they suspect it doesn't have the times 3 multiplier. That's the only thing about Merciless that makes it kind of easier, right? Is the times 3 multiplier that you get for criticals or weaknesses or whatever. Yeah, supposedly it doesn't have that, is what word on the street is. How the fuck did I get all these dark balls in one unupgraded stop? That was kind of crazy. I'm not using more gravity. Don't do it again. We got the second chance. This is quite good for final fights. What is this fight? The Gizmo shop is nuts. That's all of them. Go. 
KH1 advanced magic is just so good. It works well with low MP. Like you can do like you, you use it the most on strength builds. Gravity has its own crowd control, but it doesn't just pull all the enemies automatically into one spot like a magnet. But of course, the more you upgrade it, the bigger the AoE gets. So it's like it's just so good. They haven't they haven't topped magic in H1. Bro has nothing to sell. What's going on? But by now he would have a lot, but I guess I haven't done a lot of worlds to traditionally get my progression up. All that for a mermaid kick and a high potion. Fuck. Alright, well, let's go to, uh... I didn't install a piece today. No, I think I did. Because I got that dialogue there. I need to, uh... I think I want to check, but I don't remember anymore. The fuck was I gonna check? Oh yeah, no, I was just gonna get library. Tier upgrade, whatever it is. Hopefully arrow. I'm hoping to god that I'm gonna get arrow here. That's gonna make things a lot more manageable in the end. By Lincoln Park. It's so annoying that they decided to take a really safe and lame route for magic in KH3. KH3 decided to be balanced, and I don't think those devs can do balanced and fun at the same time. That game should have had stop. Should have had... I guess it had magnet in the form arrow, it's fine. They wouldn't have been able to balance magnet, they never are. I definitely should have had stop at the very least. That would have been a great spell for that game. Some kind of projectile mitigation would be cool. So I guess maybe defensive arrow. Or fuck it, make water not an offensive spell, but make it make water only the AoE around Sora bit of it and make it stay like arrow does, but also have it deal damage on hit, so it's like it parries stuff. Parries projectiles and deals damage on hit. That'd be really cool. Where's Earth? Oh, I have to beat the world for it to show up. So we'll just get E Blade. Whoa. Oh, okay. What the hell is Bell? There you are. Fire Ring. Wow. Uh, come on. That's a good defense up to get. I want to. Oh yeah, Spark would have been a cool spell. I, I remember I imagined Spark would have fit in well as like just a replacement for Cage Two Fire. Another crit plus. Though. Sonic Blade actually fucking ripping right now, Jesus. Budget ours is going nutty. Actually better than ours because of the it, the insane range. Alright, no. Oh, this reminds me, I need to write a little blurb about Sonic Blade being better on PS2 than on HD. I have a mod right now that restores Sonic Blade's spam ability to what it used to be. Because when you mash triangle in HD, you do Sonic Blades really slowly, with like a big gap in between. But if you time it correctly on PS2, which you have to do on PS2, you can't mash on PS2 or else you don't get the prompts. You get it really fast, like as fast as possible.
the original leaf burst of animal death. Goofy second chance, right? Yeah, I got that. Haste sucks for Goofy. It's actually not that good. It's still based on him attacking. He doesn't stack with MP Rage. So it's not that good. Alright, much better. The, dy the dynamic of having to time your inputs with limits like ours on PS2 is actually really fun. It makes it feel more involved, like you have to learn the timings. It's also kind of why I, I want to get rid of the guaranteeing combo master thing that I have in my rando seeds. Make the game a little bit less automated when I'm just kind of playing it and autopiloting. Transform spells like Mini and Toad. It's a um, BBS had that, and I think um, EDD might have had that as well. The enemies get really small; they run away, and you can step on them, and they take like damage per step. You can sleep Vinius, not Mini. It'd be funny if you could Mini Vinius, but you cannot. Mini is actually an incredibly good spell in that game if you're under leveled. Under what is my fucking voice doing tonight, bro? I'm dying. It's over. In BBS, if you're severely under leveled, you can like mini a bruiser or whatever, and they'll take a shitload of damage because like they don't take much damage per step, but they take like damage for every frame that you're in contact with them, and they just blow up. So it's a good tool to use if you're like doing monstro farming or some shit. Status called pig makes you unable to cast magic. That's a weird name for what's usually called seal. Heal. Heal. Or silence. I think FF7 calls it silence. Same concept, though. Oh, I almost just fell. Float. Float is in, um, Recom and BBS. As enemy cards slash D-Link effects. I could get second chance or leaf bracer in this chest and it'd be so hype and clutch. I need to give Goofy a, some MP. Maybe it doesn't have like an MP shield. I have had like no access to stores. It stores don't have shit and I can't get the moogles. SMT calls it mute, which I guess is the same as silent. Or silence. This is a crazy run. I only have four fucking spells. I'll have a fifth in a minute here. But look at that damage. Yeah, I have Tekken 8. I play Asuka. I might die to the thunder if I don't get if I don't dodge it. Damn, I didn't die. I thought I could go under this guy and not get hit by thunder right I haven't been using Xanta Sukin because it's bad against Riku. But I, I got it pretty early. I got it in like aggro or something. Oh 
Vamos a ver. Really? There's no iframes there? Okay. Thought I timed the poop though. Bruh. Ooh, we got another MP rage, we're so set. I wonder if I could give him Tornado. I wonder if that would actually be pretty good too, because I'm... It's actually not like I'm gonna need... If I don't get Arrow, it's not like I'm gonna benefit from having a shitload of MP in Final Fight, so maybe Tornado to get through face would be better. If he has high strength, which he might. Yeah, 0 0.2 used Jaw, and then K3 used Za, which is weird. Is that actually a gear upgrade? Here it was fire, so it actually might be. Well, let me land in the library. I hope it does. Nope. I think going backwards and falling is faster than starting from the beginning with no movement. Let's find out. It actually kind of is easier to fall. That's nice. Less effort, maybe, of being getting slapped by this asshole. Blue square, yeah, the blue squares. That's um, only happens if you have a 30 series card. Maybe 40 series as well. I don't know. What happened to my friend Shib when this shit first came out and he had a 30 series card back then, and then I got a 30 series card and it started happening to me too. There's also an AMD graphics card that doesn't work with the Kingdom Hearts games, or at least didn't for a while. It's a very specific, shittier one. Okay, now I have intel. If I don't have those reports, I can, like, see if I can get something crazy. I got fire for that? Oh. Unfortunate. Fire! Like the worst thing I could have gotten. I was hoping for arrow. But oh well. Okay, well now I guess I can do a mad dash to finish. Get that piece installed. Get that nav gummy installed. Yeah, Merlin's house for whatever that's worth. If I had Tinkerbell, I would do it. I don't. Maybe the accessory shop will have shit. No, they did HP2. Maybe it's like an unlock. It is not. What the fuck is going on in here? Having nothing to work with about all these worlds being completed. Bro. I just want to buy these and see if Ruby has like a 5 MP shield or something funny. 43 strength, alright, that's the next best thing right there. But it's not enough for tornado goofy power. 45, we get a little closer. I actually might want that on myself, actually. Hold on. 51? Yeah, I could be hitting 54 with that, and that would be cap for, a uh, And some... Or 53, close enough. Though I might get that on my own from leveling up. I guess we'll see once I get there. Elbow and game scale. You're healing him out with your magic stat and or magic attack. Nocturne makes it so that if you cast Makakaja and you have a high magic stat, your ma your basic Dia or Medea or whatever will heal for like 400. Really funny. One winged angel. I saw it when I um, had the wooden sword, and it was shitty. How 
do I get this vessel to install my nav gummy? Did I not actually get the nav gummy? Oh yeah, I did this earlier where I was like, oh, where's the nav gummy? I didn't find the nav gummy. 50 fruits, a seagull egg. Monster mouth is glide. Oh, I could get that, maybe. I was thinking about shotgunning that. Oh, right, I have to get Rising Falls. Right, I meant to do that earlier, and I was like, wait, I can't get any of this shit because I don't have White Trinity or anything. I have an idea. Monstro Mouth, I believe... There's a chance I can get this without Green Trinity. Or Movement. Yeah, Media Surf is, like, the strat. Just getting him that at some point and carries you through mid-game without Meteor Armor or some shit. Uh, enjoy this cutscene. I have to piss real quick. I'll be right back. Never mind, there's no cutscene. Uh, enjoy this cutscene, bear back. There, Pinocchio. With this, we can get out of here, Father. Really? With this big block, you think so? It's true. So, how did you end up here, Pinocchio? Oh my, so the whale swallowed all of you too? My goodness. Yeah, looks like it. My name is Geppetto. I'm Pinocchio's father. When we got separated, I traveled all over looking for him. Thank goodness we're together again. So, you seem to know Pinocchio quite well. I hope he was a good boy in my absence. Well, we've all had quite a journey. Right, Pinocchio? Pinocchio? Okay, so, if I get lucky, this chest or something will have a glide. How the fuck am I even gonna get that? I got lucky and I got it. That's so pog. I can get everything else, perhaps. Eeny. Eeny. A little potion. Lion heart, what the fuck? Gosh. Yeah, it was a big gamble, but it's the only choice I had because I literally need Glide to get, uh, either that or- the bigger gamble would have been, um, going for White Trinity and hoping that it was in the White Trinity and not Bubble Chests. Watch this be in the- the HP2 Bubble Chest that I don't need Glide for. Oh, I still need Blizzard- no, I don't need Blizzard, I can just go top down. Kingdom Slip 2. I actually, I want to make a new version of the KH2 experience, like a modern version, call it the 2.5 experience, and I think I want to edit it more like a YTP. I have a lot of ideas on how I could fuck around like that. A light YTP editing on top of what I already do for those videos. But there will be a new version of the KH2 experience. I've learned so much more about that game and how to, like, do stupid shit that looks cool since I played Rando, so I want to put some of the Rando strats into a video like that.
Oh my god, it's 50-50 now between fucking White Trandy and HB2 Bubble. Fuck. Please be it. Yes. That was close. So, I don't think... No, I could have done Raft. Uh, you don't need Nav Gummy for a Raft, but if any of the materials for, um... If any, if, if any one material for Raft was in End of the World and wasn't in a store, I would have needed Emblem to get Raft for that reason. Rare usage of the HP2 warp pole. Never fucking mind, you can't use it. I need to install the thing. <laughs> suck my tonight. Get it going with suck my taint. Or SMT, but I guess it's not, it's funny. Okay, now I can go. No. This will do it. Do I fight my way through these fights? I do. I want to maximize the chance I get. Second chancer once more to fucking... You know. Have a decent final fight. But I shouldn't be a naysayer. My damage, though. I don't have anything to worry about. It's one of those seeds where I'm so strong I can just do it fast and not die. These guys get stunned. I wonder if they can get ailmented like that. Magic armlet. That's one, right? Yeah, that's one. A smasher at six. Cool. All right, Goofy's got six now. Helpful. I'll clear the chests here. I feel. I all the things that I wanted to go for, I've gotten. Like getting. My fucking ass beaten by invisibles. Uh, all the things that I was hoping I'd get, like that glide and then that fucking nav gummy, I've gotten. So I'm I'm holding out on something good showing up here. Something I don't want to miss. Yeah, ours would be great too. Though I would only really be able to use it on, I guess, Ansem would be a valid use of it, but face would also be good as well. Where's my Sonic Blade? I guess it's Sonic Blade. Flying asshole. Dream shield. Oh, we got a full, uh, I'm missing the rod, but almost got all the starting weapons. How have we been so far? Pretty good. This has been a very strange seed. This feels like a min- Oh, I got the dream rod! Back to back! What the fuck? What are we doing? I got them all. What the hell? See what I said about 
the luck build? This is a luck build seed. With no lucky luckies, because whatever. But I got that crystal crown off of a single red nocturne. Yellow nocturne. Got an RF glide now. Alright, check out this damage. That, that, that tier of damage is actually something you can unironically get in KH1J because of how high the health bars and damage scales. KH1J scales it's dramatic. It scales so dramatically in this world that you get ridiculous damage. I don't know if y'all saw my posts about it like the other week. But the highest amount of damage you can deal to enemies in that game is a literal exact one bar of HP. I'm going to show this video on stream because this is actually so satisfying. I had it on a loop. The tab was still open. I couldn't resist. Angel stars with 1.5 bars of HP. Look, look, it just, it just turned green. It just, it just went green. It just went green. Exact full bar in one J. I also have another video where it's just that on the loop. Hold on. Oh yeah, this is the best one. This is the best example of this. Plus the reverb of PS2 version, plus Oblivion. Get excited for my PS2 version retrospective because I'm going to be going to detail about that. It, the same thing applies to bosses too. They more bosses than Sephiroth and uh, Hades get invisibars into the beyond the purple. Chernabog is one of those where the health bar is like invisible for the first bit of the fight. He actually has the most health I've seen ever. It took so long with that disgustingly high damage to get through the purple. It was like three bars of invisibar. It almost felt like. I didn't even grind for that amount of damage. All I did was I went Dawn Route on my EXP and I did no optional worlds. I need to- I'm gonna boot that save file back up because it's like right at the end of the game I'm gonna fight Ursula because Ursula is now leveled up and drops 8000 EXP in that version. Which isn't like a crazy amount, but it's a lot. It's like an end game boss amount for fucking Ursula of all things, with the HP2 level up. I also want to make a video about Oogie with a uh, HP2 level up. Because if you. If fighting Oogie Boogie 2 is really funny when you have Ars Arcanum, because you can hit him after he tries to knock you off the ground. Like, when he goes invulnerable but hasn't knocked you off yet, you can activate ours and it goes through his damage mitigation. I did it once in Rando and it's really funny. Okay, I hit him the nine times that you're allowed to and then I popped ours when he went invulnerable and he took damage. And I lost, like, a, another bar of health. Invincibles get stunned. Invisibles. Nice. In 1J, Ursula, you can't, you can't backshot Ursula in the head. Same with Shrinobog, they don't hit, they don't have hitboxes in the back of the head. You have to hit them in the front. Yeah, Ursula back shots are not possible. Write that down. Can't be done. High jump! Come on, bro. I could have gotten this shit an hour in. <laughs> if it let me. What is in this chest? Yeah, GG at the end of the fucking scene. 
If I rushed this seed and I didn't treat this stream like a podcast, I could have gotten this done in like two and a half hours, I'd say. But that's not my style. I like treating randos, I like podcasts. It's fun. Got to talk about all sorts of things I've been up to, and I haven't been streaming a whole lot this month, but I've been making the most of it. Especially because we're about to go into the P3 Vortex for a little while. I would like to be like in as fast as possible and do like 2021 tiers of streaming every other day, pretty much. What would you have done if you beat this in two hours? Probably booted up Tony Hawk and gotten on another little session of Proving Ground because we still have to beat that. But I'm not trying to rush anything. I need to re-upload the Proving Ground uh, Volume 1 VOD because it got sniped by fucking Pierce the Veil. Slap shot! Slap shot! Why is the seed so backloaded on the juice, bro? Well, I mean, it also gave me a 24 strength keyblade and every key item I needed, but you know. Slap shot. I'll get the chests here. I'll take my time in this world. I want to juice up. I'm level 45? Damn. I feel like it would have been a lot lower level for how much I've skipped. 33 defense? I think I might be set, honestly. Tony Hawk Ranuary. Tony Hawk Ruary. See, I'm glad I'm doing random Tony Hawk events with Proving Run because it is really fucking funny getting all sick on the career missions. Or the story missions in general, rather. Because of how stupid some of those missions are. Plus, I'm conditioning y'all to expect random Tony Hawk events in the form of just Thug Pro lobbies. There's a drinking water. Oh yeah, so Raft was impossible because of that drinking water being there because, um... Nav Gummy was blocked to HP2. So Raft had zero chance. Did you know that enemies spawn in these little baskets? Yeah, Raft is just so unlikely. <laughs> it's really funny. The logic that denotes that it can show up here makes it like 5% chance. Check Moogle. I'd never got Green Trandy. And the store is never fucking... Yeah, I guess it wouldn't be possible if it was on the stores, but... I skipped so many visits that the stores never advanced. They only are selling four things each, and I never got Green Trandy to do the Moogles, because it might be on, uh, cups. To get green. Yeah, it, it could have been there. It's possible. That is a good point. But we'll never know. I think it's really funny that you can just buy your way out of a jam if you get lucky. Back up luck. You can kind of cheese this world because normally you have to do these fights to get the chests, but I'm using the mod that lets me just get them because who cares? Well, that chest is... Oh, never mind, we're good. No, we're not. Hold on. Uh, let me just slide on out of here real quick. I can't leave. Okay, so that happens if you... What the fuck? Whoa. Whoa, what are you... That's the side effect of the mod I was just talking about, uh, where if you, like, activate it during a limit, it, like, fucks everything up. I die. I could probably kill myself. If you open up a chest while you're recovering from the limit, it like puts you in a fucked up state. Why is that flashbang? Though? Why am I getting flashbangs? Hey Nava, are you a cage one, Andy? I know you're a cage two, Andy, after seeing your fucking cracked rando stream. 
If you fucks with cage one enough to try this. That air combo plus is clutch for uh no I don't need flying fights, I have the, the platform mode. I think. Oh I actually have to beat this so I didn't get the kill. I didn't put on slap shot, hold on, let me just open this stupid shit. I did put on slap shot, never mind. Never did one random, I'm not against trying it. Nice. The installation process is five times easier than KH2 random, because you don't need to... It generates its own seeds, and all the settings are in text files that I can just give you, and it would just be... All you do is you run Lua and then it runs itself. And Lua also runs itself when you install it, so. Yeah, Cage Run Rando is built in a really easy way because, like, it'll generate its own seed files, and the seed file is literally just a string of numbers that is the seed. And then there's a settings file that you can change to customize, like, which chests are always going to be just junk that aren't randomized. If you want to disable, like, 100 acre wood, for example, which I have turned off in Atlantica, which I also have turned off because fuck that. Um. Yeah, that's basically it. It also doesn't patch the game. It's done entirely in what I guess you would call a uh, RAM side of things. ROM is where it like, patches and changes files. RAM is where it just changes things on the fly, I guess. GTA games have like every fucking mod you can imagine. They have like source engine movement mods in first person and like GTA 5 and San Andreas. It's ridiculous. What the fuck? Chad, Sonic Blade, where you only use one hit and stop Sonic Blading. I guess GTA is easy to mod, because I remember seeing shit like Superman mod, San Andreas, like... 15 years ago. So I guess people have been at it for a while in that department. Chest has terrible collision. Well, anyway, he needs that AP up, do they? If we could use it. Double MP rage. Actually useful and random to get Goofy. AP ups. Is Goofy as good as fuck in this game? What? I didn't seal it? It's blue? Why is it still blue? What the hell? Oh, it worked though, so. What should this VOD be called? What should I name it? I want to be creative. The one shot 24 strength wooden sword. I want to like emphasize that it's one shotting almost everything I see. Deadly blow.
one wood man. That's kind of good, but it's also very involved. But I guess if I had a thumbnail that showed it had 24 strength, it would be easier to convey. I had to do the Terminus for almost every fucking world because I have completed only one world and it was Agrabah. What the hell? Just use wood as a dick joke. See, I said creative and not unfunny. Important distinction. What the fuck is this staff? Oh, nice MP. What else could he have? What's the reverse of using advanced techniques on Sora's friends from Destiny Island? Um, using rudimentary uh, attacks on Zemnis and dying. I don't know. No dice on any of these chests. I've been full clearing this world and not a hit for the cool triple dream weapon stack, I guess. Alright, sure enough pog time. It'd be a good emote. Make a pog emote, but it's sure bog pogging. I have 13 animated emote slots that I need to make up. Oh yeah, um, cool news on the um, monetary side of things on this website for me. Um, because I have enough subscribers and Twitch is making like a partner plus thing where um, I'm, I'm gonna get 60-40 cut in a little bit here instead of 50-50. Cause it used to be, it was either 50-50 or 70-30 if you were like an actual juicer. But now they're making it so that you can get 60-30 or 60-40 if um, you're somewhere in between, which is where I am. So that means your subscription will be more valuable. Jeez. Oh, time for Kino. Plus that I have. Kingdom Hearts 2 has screwed us again. We go. Oh, back shots. There we go. Oh, please, arrow. Air combo plus is very good for flying fights because finishers are slow and you can't cancel them. So the more the better here. It's all about basic swings. Oh, get fired. Oh, he's not dead. like 80% health. What was that? How much health did I have? 
What even hit me? Stray arrow projectile or whatever that shit is? shot by whatever that was. Whoa! I'm I didn't get killed by the fire pillar. It's usually what you die to if you have no defense stats and abilities like I do. I just got clipped by an arrow pick at like 70% health. Materials were in an impossible location. Only thing that could have saved me were removals, and I never got green trained to find them, so I was just. I just had to go with a really fast emblem route that I got. I'm, this is like super glass cannon right now, so it's gonna be a hard answer, but I can do it. Ooh, I'm about to die. Oh, I, oh! Full HP! I had full HP that time, it was the arrow thing. I could have escaped the fire because I stopped him before I started to fly away, but the fucking arrow, that was 100%. 34 defense, and... I guess I have Farag Gun banned, but I don't have whatever that other stat is. Jesus. I mean, that's never been a problem attack. That's a good strat though, if you're trying to evade the fire, if you see him do it up close and you're too close, you stop him and fly away and you'll either get hit twice or just not. Sounds oh. too quiet, you need to like raise the volume of it somehow. Aji Baryon. Oh, it's the fucking things, dude. That's a hundred percent of my health. That's actually insane. I, I should have gotten out of there. That's actually crazy never been an issue. I wonder if Donald will come in clutch if I said I'm in a constant advanced and he did like stop a bunch. Thought if I die again. I forgot to put an air combo plus, so I'll just let it rip. Oh. Yeah, even as well, but you still get away from that kind of clutch. Oh, oh, oh. 
clutch heal. Just saved my life. I was in the middle of the fire the whole time. I don't have arrows still. That's gonna be a problem for lasers. This is like an early preview of lasers on Ansem 2 or 3 rather. Yeah, Ansem 3, Final Ansem 1, whatever you wanna fucking call it. Okay, this I have to fucking. Or whatever the follow up is here, I have to evade. I have to be patient. This is an actual one shot somehow. What is the pattern of this move? The fucking PS2 orbs. Why does this shit even work? Is it coming at me? Where am I? Oh, oh, that's a lot of them. What is going on? What? PS2 home screen. Don't do it. Don't. There you go. What is this? What is this? Oh, it was the frog on band. Don't do it. Oh my god. Mix ups. Data Schirner boss. What is this? I've never been threatened by that attack before. I've never noticed that it looks like the PS2 was. He's doing it again. I have to run. It, it's, it's actually the PS2 orb. It's literally the same thing. Look at this shit. I am. I hit the invisible wall. What the fuck? Found the new shit. I'll get him. I don't have arrow. I think I really do just have to greed this guy to death because I got close the last two times. Gonna match stop as like a finisher. Give this guy a little maleficent style treatment. This will let me greet a lot harder, I think, because it'll just be behind where it like, relative to where you'd normally be in the fight if I just do this all day long. Oh, Goofy's out of MP entirely. I need his ass to get slapped real quick so that he dies and gets a bunch of MP. Nice. He gave me two MP gifts with his dying breath. Did you see that? He's so clutch in this game. Refilled my entire MP as he died. What a soldier. I just fucking landed on him and I stopped flying and I'm dying. And he's doing PS2 orbs again. Alright, I'll tank this. I'll dodge it. Fucking PS2 home screen. What? That does damage. Fucking knockback. That's some shit right there. I think it's because I was in contact with his hand. Normally it doesn't deal damage to you, but I was like in contact with his fucking arms and it put me. Oh, I'm... I'm stop his clutch here. Maybe he did push me into the PS2 orbs. I don't fucking know anymore. What's happening? 
Oh, you know what I could do? I could try doing goofy tornado strats instead of stops. He doesn't have quite enough strength to really do it well, but it would help. Yeah, I think he did push me into the PS2 orbs, because I didn't deal- I didn't take damage there, and I was like, where are we Alright, gotta get out of here. I landed on his arm, that could've killed me. Oh, that like spins the PS2 orbs as well. It like made them move all erratically. Oh my god. Holy shit! Look at him frame one tossing MP gift. He just- Oh no, that's a rare bug. He just MP gifted Donald three times, and when you MP gift a dead party member, it only gives one MP, so we did it three fucking times in a row. That elixir just went to China. That's happened to me before. Weird ass interaction. Write that one down. Ooh, he saved my life there. He pushed me away. Oh. Donald, I need you to be performing right now. There you go. Hold on. I, dude, he's just looping me. I'm getting zoned. Dude. This is fucking guile gameplay right now, bro. Sonic Boom. PS2 orbs, I need to run. Oh, they really were PS2 orbs. I've never had to be worried about this attack or even look at it once in my life until today. This is ridiculous. I can't get in. I cannot get in. I cannot. I can't get in. Let me in! No! Alright, you know what? Aggressive play. I can't get in, bro! I have to do it. I have to do it right here. <laughs> See you on the fucking home screen. That was fucked. That's the hardest Chernobog fight I've ever had to deal with. It. There's not supposed to be that many moving parts in that fight to worry about. Usually you just arrow through that shit or just mash cure. Nothing's a problem. I got a power-up though, that was cool. I want to give that to Goofy. No, I'll give the sword so that I can put on something MP related instead of full stacking strength. I'm way above where I need to be in terms of damage. Give me the EXP ring so that I get EXP on solo fights so that I maybe get, like, crazier stats or something. It's MP all the same, so it's a good investment here. Or maybe health? Do I have, like, an Angel Bangle? Angel Bangle. That's a lot of health. Yeah, that's worth it. Rare... Rare-ass opportunity where I decide to go with health instead of anything else. It doesn't even give me more than the fucking... Oh, wrong. Wrong thing. 51. Crystal Crown. That's nothing. What the fuck? What about the defense, though? Is the defense good? Two defense and six health, is that a lot? All three of the things I'm using are raise HP, so I guess all of them combined are probably kind of schnice. But, like, what the fuck? I'll, I'll, I'll let it rock. One MP isn't gonna be that much better anyways. Oh. Oops, I went into the room that has no purpose. My bad.
I might make a little mini edit out of this stream, like a 10 minute highlight. This has been kind of goofy. <laughs> what is that link name? Flaccid Proud Zucchini Baby Ray? Oh, no. Which? What are we doing? Of cobbled. Alright, time for a normal fight. Definitely won't throw me any curveballs. Do I have Zentetsugan on? I do. Time to destroy this guy with Zentetsugan. Power of the wooden sword right here. Bomb was dead. You turn on the get us out of couple, we trust. Thank you. Look at this fucking damage. Alright, I'm gonna Sonic Blade as much as the game will let me with these flying fucks. It'll be really funny. Oh, it's not gonna let me do it at all, these assholes. Don't send me back to the behemoth. I don't have arrow. Oh, nice. The stun actually working in my favor. Holy shit. Rare use of Sonic Blade stun on ironic. Okay. Dude, it's throwing hands. Will you, Donald, will you give me an arrow? It's been like seven years since the last time you gave me an arrow. Please. Holy stop, I'm hitting the craziest stops today. That was clutch. All the invisibles in this wave are gone. Look at that asshole that got out somehow. Bro. I guess I one tap these dark balls, Jesus. Why are you blocking my shit? Okay. I'm one HP. There Damn, stop as range, what the hell? Oh, I almost died there. I would have died if that didn't parry. Holy shit. Whoa. I didn't even see that was happening. That was death, my friend. That was literally it if I didn't get that random berry. Oh, I'm dead. That's a problem. Oh, maybe it's I'm afraid. This is the most fun I've ever had with Sonic Blade, I think. Just the one shots it's dealing right now. I was Donald still dead. He's out of potions, that's why it's my responsibility to keep his dumb ass alive right now. Goofy just killed that guy with Goofy R's. He's about to get executed. Nice. Oh, it's done! Thank god, holy shit, I thought there were like two more waves. 
I got that critical mode health. God damn. That's a nice coincidence. Another high jump. What the fuck? Or whatever. Why not? Alright, well, that was close. Alright. I have no second chance. No leaf bracer, no arrow. This is the worst it's ever been. The only thing holding this together is the fact that I'm at the strength cap on basic hits and not even crits. The only strategy is aggression. Yo, lasers, we're gonna be there for a little while, I think. I literally have to run or go this full aggro and then get greedy and then die. I don't think I'll be able to use Sonic Wedding against this guy because he's fucking flying. Nice parry, that's what I was talking about. Insulin with him. I wonder if this guy resists stun type damage too. Oh my god. Open your I'll do it. If I had R's, it'd be cool to get hit by that, so you can R's into the, the cage of sorts, but I don't. Reclaim your garden, asshole. What is it going on for? Why are you doing this? Bro, get over yourself. This should, this should, this should end by now. Jesus, I lost it forever. Oh, that did not work. I could have predicted that. Oh my god. You know what? This isn't gonna help. But we're doing it. Cue the music. Gotcha. Zero damage. I just want to do Guardian versus Guardian right now. There's some Jojo -Jo bullshit. We're on party members. Bitch. Hey, get more HP. That's nice. I need as much as possible because I'm fucking dying. Alright, final menu. There's a certain rhythm to this menu where I can get it really fast, and I don't know what it is. Something like that, I don't fucking know. Right at the four hour mark, huh? I'm out of water. Fuck. Okay. 
we move. That doesn't do any fucking damage. Oh, I'm in all the wrong spot right now. Go. Double Hydro will help me hit him here, though. A little bit. Let's get out of the world. Check out these tech ones. Like this K2 and vanilla moves that where I have no final mix moves, or any moves for that matter, just basic swings. He has a slap shot though. Do it, bitch. Double high jump Owens on this guy, you can just jump over everything he does including that. I don't. I jump good. DM? Ooh, what the fuck was that? DM for sure now, right? This is optimal, actually. Don't want to be for nothing. Bitch, DM skip. With a wooden stick. Okay, I check it with the gifted sub. Thank you. As per tradition, we have to watch this cutscene and hope that I don't die so that the modded music stays. What? Behold the endless abyss. Which I will die. Within it lies the heart Hooray! of all worlds. Kingdom hearts. Look as hard as you are able. You'll not find even the smallest glimmer of light. From those dark depths are all hearts born. Even yours. <gasps> Darkness conquers all worlds! Shout out! EXP zero for the lasers. They would still have the same issue. EXP zero, all you would do is just shoot fires. If I had Mushu, but you can't use Mushu, it wouldn't help. That face is always asked no matter what. And they would help for um, the pseudo second chance you get though. Giving up already? Come on, Sora. I thought you were stronger than that. I need to add like a quarter second delay to the start of the song. And then I need to fix, um, if you die, it just plays a normal song because there's two versions of the final boss theme in the game's files. One without an opening, and it didn't get changed for this mod, so I'm gonna fix that. If I die, I'll just play the normal thing. Holy fucking damage, it's not looking good. Welcome to darkness. How about laser damage? That's that gonna hurt. Quite badly. Uh, we have to go in now. Can't wait for P3 Reload to add the answer as DLC, and then they're just gonna have Lotus Juice wrapping over us all the whole fucking time. Can't wait. This is 
I thought that was Ansem. I was like, oh no, lasers are starting early. Okay, now I have to run for like five minutes. This is going pretty well though, look at this fucking damage. Bit snipers are really trying to get involved right now. Bruh, the one dude this one does it stop, it never stops, it never ends. Now he's doing another round. This is safety. I got him right here. If I can fucking swing, there we go. I really like. Yo, man, you put stuff to there. That fight's not a problem at all. It's not a problem. I've been afraid of it for so long for no reason. It's easy. Is there a built in music for Endo like K2? No. That's all like done through the seed generator. Stunned heartless with the inner How big is P3 reload? Twenty-two gigabytes. Damn, I feel like that's really low for a modern game. That's cool. I guess it's Persona, so like. I don't get beamed by this bullshit. Ooh. Oh, we got pretty far. I bet it's an easy fix to just do this myself. Replace the other song with darkness, but with a different start to the loop. You know what? Hold on. Extended to this. Cool. Put the time. Bomb. The funniest part about having this song here is when you kill Ansel, he says, It can't be. The answer. Is this the answer? So it's like, kind of ironic. Face. This is another annoying fight. I could have died right there. I don't know what happened when I didn't die. Heal. 
Bruh. Bruh, why do I say it like that? What am I, like 12 years old? Bruh. Oh. Come on, what am I getting? Lightning back shots. I feel like move every combo. Do I have any R's is so nice, you can just get on top and then just spam that shit through like everything. Can I do ground combos with this? I can do slap shot up here, hold on. This is marginally better. It's crazy they designed this game without Leaf Bracer in the first two versions, like what the fuck? There's gotta be a pattern where you can like dodge the first the little beams and then fly away from the face when it explodes. Or does that, I don't know, I'm gonna fucking read that move up there. Yeah, it goes after your last normal position and then you can... Okay, I think I see a pattern actually. And it does that twice, okay. Okay, just do that three times in a row, yeah. Bitch, fuck you. Okay, the worst is over. You know what? How do you like it if I crush every bone in your body? What then? What then? Think about it. On KH1J, the core has like this much health, the same as like the little dudes here. It's really weird. It still dies to gravity, but it has like no health. Even though everything else is like a million zillion health compared to every other version. Oh my gosh! Fucker. Laser Wednesday, dude. I'm gonna die to these beams, I can't do anything about them. I actually cannot do like anything about that. I have to get behind them. I have to land where you just get like stuck behind them where you normally go to summon or whatever. I have to do that. Real 
Probably could have gone more aggressive there, but I just want to make sure I got out of the way first. Yeah, there we go. Bruh, 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 bruh. Our poopy player too, what the hell? Oh no, he's gonna drain my MP. All that MP I spend on a fucking hero that I don't have. Most of ever had to respect this phase. I just dying two ways as well. I was flying full speed. Fuck. Okay, this time I'm gonna go more aggressive. Way to go! Oh shit! Been watching you for like three years, so I thought I'd give you an AP boost smile. I always forget I need to have my little stream lab to open to see direct dollar to do donations. I open that. Yo, get real with the five dollars. Thank you very much. Get real. Appreciate that a lot. Oh my god, I got sucked. Did you just hear that? My YouTube video got quieter. You can land down here. You can go in here. And I can go all the way down here in this space. You know when the audio inverse thing happens where it gets a harsh limiter on the game's audio when you like have too much happening? That just happened to my YouTube playlist. That wasn't the game. Everything on my computer just got quieter. What was that? Is that how that works? You guys know what I'm talking about, right? That like the limiter effect that these ports have when too much happens and it hurts your ears because like, everything gets quiet all of a sudden. Effect. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. I never actually gone down here in the fight. It's kind of funny. God, this fight sucks under these circumstances. So many cycles of this fucking attack that you never see. Oh, it is done. The glass cannon seat to end all glass cannon seats. Despite getting every animal piece in like two and a half hours, it still ended up being like a five hour seed. So that's funny. Funny how that works. Dying cutscenes. Kingdom Hearts 2 has screwed us again. It doesn't work.
need to remake this. It'd be funny if I made a 2024 version of this. Special secret. Just for me. Good run. That was a nice cage one random to fit in before the uh, the P3 marathon. Oh, we get that PS3 cleaned up? Hell yeah. I think I'll call around tomorrow. Let's see. I don't want to pay more than $100. Is that- well, how much do you think it'll run me? Has anybody ever had like a console repaired at like a place? That just sounds reasonable. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like any more than that would be the cost of a new PS3. Which of course would probably have all the same issues, but... I just don't want to do that shit myself. I'm not- you have to fully tear down your PS3 to get the, to the thermal paste. It's just not happening. I don't want to, um, I can't do it. I don't want to risk it. Another side, another side. Another store, another side. Nice little seed. One of the most bizarre seeds I've ever had in terms of, um, item distribution. Early fucking emblems. Insane, literal, maximum strength wooden sword. That one, uh, uh, YouTube's gonna love that. I might even make, like, a ten-minute edit of just some of the goofier things that have happened in this, like, uh, some of the boss fights and final rest fights might be fun to just throw on there. Oh yeah, that is it for me. Thank you guys very much. I will be back, I believe, on Sunday. I want to give you guys some time to start P3 on your own time so you can watch my stream and I'll just be behind it. Why not? Plus, I want to see if Lunatic sucks at difficulty. I'm going to toss you guys over to Shib. Man, they always playing Poppy Playtime. I got a DLC or whatever. Update. Long credits today. Thank you guys very much. Once P3 is out and I start streaming that, I should be streaming at a more regular frequency like I used to, just because I want to get through that pretty quick and timely. It's gonna be oh, it's gonna be a long time. It'll, it'll be a lot of streams. That'll take me a while. It's like an 80-hour game at minimum, right? But I'm there for it. It's been a while since we had something Megaton related. And I've never done Persona on this channel, so I think it's about time. I will see y'all then. Get hyped. And enjoy the game on the first day or two, because I will be busy. Gonna rush through Tartarus, you know it. As much as I can on the difficulty, at least. Good night, everyone.